forget to add some of the new overlay to the stuff, but hey ho, that's a problem for next time. This Shot is the loot fun. box edition, yes, <laughs> loot box edition. So one good thing is objective list is up to date. It was only like eight weeks out of date or something. Oh, that's Did, fine. And then, and then I updated and noticed, wow, I didn't really remove much and I added two more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were done. <laughs> and it's very worrying that you still have Locate Arena and Ismark still there. To be fair, we know exactly where they are. One of them just might be a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so we'll chill out on this screen for tonight. Don't think we'll need battle maps. I hope. I hope. Unless PvP happens, you never know. I cast the lightning bolt it's done. <laughs> but last last time on the well, episode of Curse of Strahd, <laughs> we found yourselves uh, in front of uh, a tower that Van Rick had pointed on the map for you guys to uh, meet up with him where you would be able to help you further is what he said. Um, you guys did successfully figure out the door puzzle and were granted entry uh, to the tower. Also did not horribly die to the trapped wagon, which is okay. also good because that is a also notorious part of the book that TPKs. So two thumbs That's up there. That's such an anticlimactic thing, isn't it? Like you survive <laughs> everything. It's like, oh, he hey, look, oh, no. Hey, they put a sign there. And you, if you decide to steal their shit, it's kind of on Actually, you, you know. It's, it's karma. Because you die to an IED. <laughs> it, yeah, basically, <laughs> it's basically experience. there to teach you. Like, just because it's there doesn't mean you should like stick your fingers and grab it. You know. <laughs> That's a bit of a harsh lesson, though. TPK in the past. I, I, it's like in that. the book. I mean. Don't do it again. <laughs> I mean, you guys are supposed to be good guys, heroes. What? Heroic, oh, wait, wait. Flint. Heroic. Stop. You need to. You should be heroic, Flint. <laughs> why, are you Flint why are you hiding in the corner, Flint? Flint, get out there! Stop <laughs> unraveling the hole. No, I'm crying. This is my hole. <laughs> you can't stop. <laughs> I can't deny it. Every every time things get sketchy for Johnny Flash, he merely like rope trick. Yeah. Just run away it's immediately. A solid spell. It is so good. No, I'm, not, um, I'm not that bad. I'm not running away. It's, but you were welcomed by a voice as you entered the ground floor of the tower. Hopefully one of you did take notes of whose tower this actually is. And uh, you were welcomed by the voice of... Um, Welcome to the tower. Congratulations on entering and solving the door puzzle. Please make your way inside. Oh, it has been so likes... long since we had more guests. Welcome, we really welcome. Good opportunity here just to end this session right now and leave. Should we just go back? To... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sophia is at the front here, so Sophia's going to walk in. Okay. Inside, you see a fairly derelict room. It has not been uh, upkept. Uh, it's very dusty, to say the least. And um, at the, you see various strewn books. It seems like a somewhat of a library, or used to be one at the very least. Um, let me get the exact wording of it. Uh, the V4. A flagstone floor is strewn with debris, and few old crates stand near the east wall. A torn curtain to the south partially obscures the tower vestibule. A five-foot five square indentation in the center of the floor contains four pulleys attached to a taut iron chain that stretches up throughout a similarly sized hole in a rotted wooden ceiling. Standing next to the chains are four tall clay statues. Please make your way inside. Come one, come all. Sure. Sorry. Well, I got Wait, Joel, did you say you were leading? Currently yeah, better. well, Sophia was the one who opened the door, so uh, I would no, assume I, so. No, I was. Uh, you, no. You were, instruct you were instructing me from behind. I was on the slab. Mm, no. No? No. Yes, Sophia oh, okay. opened the door. Well, Sally was the one doing that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was the one on the slab. I don't. I, I was don't the last person to f solve the riddle. Yeah, yeah, but then there was the yes. uh, logic. I oh, know you went and did the yeah. magic stuff in the wagon, didn't you? No, so there was no. The that was before that. So Fia did the riddle, and then the gems came up. Flint put the gems in. Flint tried to do. Oh it. yeah, sorry. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told. I told him what to do. Yeah, yes. apologies. I forgot about the gems. You were right. 
And yeah, Sterling gives me gems. And then I told him the solution. Yeah, Rayla goes first. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Rayla goes into the wagon yeah. and fights him. <laughs> She's having a nap on the bed. <laughs> yeah. Not again. Let's see who's going first. Uh... <laughs> I don't really care, to be honest, to go through a fucking door. Which one he is. We can still just say Sophia. I volunteer, Sophia. Sophia, yeah, Sophia, Sophia first. goes first. Ah, my fine lady, Sophia welcome to coming. Exathander's Tower. I am your host, Buster the Bust. Sophia, you Hi here? there. Hi there. As you walk in, your eyes adjust to the dimly lit room. You see one of these clay statues has a uh, one of the faces are moving. Uh, it's not quite facing you, it's facing to the side, so it's very awkwardly like trying to glance towards you and strain, because obviously can't twist its neck. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a very pristine macula. Uh, the name's Buster, the Bust. Gotcha. What do you what, what what's this? What what are you what are you doing? I am here because I was created by my master. Why are you here today? Um, I'm I'm here to see you. Oh shucks! A round of applause for our first entrance to the tower. <laughs> Apologies, my master was obsessed with game shows of Waterdeep when he created me, so I am programmed to behave in this way. No worries. For Programmed? Is that another Warforged? Come on down! Uh, I'll, I'll head in after Sophia barged me out of the way. And our second sure. contestant, and your name, good sir. I am Sterling! Sterling, a round of applause for our friend oh. Sterling. I I uh, I'm kind of loving this. I'm like hands in the air, like you're you just know. clapping yourself, are you? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, give it, give a bit of a cheer. Woo, woo, woo. That's right. An exciting contestant here today, folks. And who are your fine compatriots? They're still standing in the doorway. All right, I'm please confused. make your way down to the ground floor. I guess we're going again. My internet's being fun today, so um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, golf's lagging, so we should probably just head in. <laughs> this is confusing. Why does he keep like glitching in and out of reality? <laughs> anyway, I go in. Ah, another contestant, and your name's her. We're the fancy wig. Auric. Auric, pleasure to meet you, Auric. I hope you have a splendid time today on, well, in the tower. Oh, heading off to a round of applause, everybody. Do a wait. Do I have a minor? I'll do a minor illusion and make the sound of like clapping. <laughs> you, you can see the uh, bust eyes just like open up. He's like looks super happy. Hey. This has never happened before. <laughs> I could oh, do sure. three of those, so three instances of clapping. Do you want to do six instances of clapping? Yeah, we could do six. <laughs> it's a bit six cheering. instances of clapping. A hey, standing <laughs> ovation for our contestant, Norik here. Now tell me, Norik, why are you here today and what do you do on your free time? Excellent. Uh, and we're on to our next contestant, please. I'll <laughs> probably be heading it off to Barak, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I would go in the next max, I imagine. Oh, wow. And you, sir, what is your name? Oh, uh, Flint. Flint, congratulations on entering the tower. With your host, Buster the Bust. Now tell me, Flint, what do you hope to achieve here today? Excellent. <laughs> now is this your entire group? I had no no idea. Excellent! I had, if I like enter the tower, have I, has that decided for me while I was phasing out reality? Ah, one more contestant, and your name, sir. Fuck. Yeah, go. 
Yegos! And you, what do you do uh, in your day-to-day -day life, Yegos? What is your profession? Excellent! Excellent. Now, do you have your entire group to take on the tower? Insert dramatic wooing here. Excellent. Ooh. What does the uh, Rayless just like just lurking behind us? Trying to not draw attention, I suppose. Uh, yeah, this is all of us. Excellent. Now you here to take on the tower. Ooh, well, I, Ooh. No, I, can't. I think your your voice box got out there. Oh, Who, do, are you here to take on the tower? Is that me or him? That's Max. That's Mike. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, am, am I lagging? Hello, Buster. I oh. think you're. Uh... Quite yeah. heavily. Um, well, as fun as that sounds, we would like yes. to... Yes, yes, we are here to take on the tower. Excellent! But, Sophia, we are kind what? of in a rush. We don't have time for these games. We we better, better solve these puzzles quick then, Sterling. But why solve no, them Sterling if we can right. just get let through? Now, the, today's challenge with the tower is to make it to the top, where our special prize lays in wait. But you have to pass the two floors of terrors. Great. Now, are you folks up for the task? Guys, there's no way we're going to no, get up there. Excellent! So the rules are, there are three difficulty levels for each floor as you traverse up to the first and second and third floor. Each with a devious task created by my master, Exathander the Great. The three difficulties are, one, easy, two, medium, and three, Hard. That was a surprise. <clears throat> well, that's going to be a fun one for you, Max. And why did you do that? God damn it. <laughs> right. I'll give you a little flashback. Then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we'll flash back to the uh, original creation of this tower. So on oh, this little lakeside, you see two figures. You see both Strad Panzorovich and a cloaked uh, figure with a long curly white beard. Um, you hear um, Strad saying, Ah, this will be an excellent place for you to further your research, my Archmage. I will be sure to clear the sky so you can observe the stars. Serve me well, Exathander, and you shall be rewarded as such. And we'll pan back to the current scene. So, Does folks, will it be easy, <clears throat> medium, or hard? Does Strahd get inspiration? <laughs> oh, I no. get inspiration, fuckers. <laughs> uh, um, we, should we go easy? That way, hopefully, we can get out of I have here. not finished explaining the rules, depending on the difficulties chosen. The well, prizes the improve. Easy gives you common prizes. Medium gives you rare prizes. And hard gives you a shot at the jackpot. Uh, yes, the audience, jackpot? these fine folks today can go away with the jackpot. That is What's now, jackpot? contestants, what would be your decision? What's the jackpot, though? The jackpot is a mystery prize. Ooh. Can I just never be straightforward? The minor illusions are ooh all over the place. <laughs> jackpot. Do we have to choose now or can we change the difficulty per level? 
you choose at each level as you progress you can change your mind you tally up a point system depending on the points accumulated you get a prize well we can i'll just look to everyone we can start with easy and if it gets if it's too easy we can get harder or we do the opposite and we start on hard but what if we can't get past the first level then we make it easy. Then you die of starvation. Wait, what? I looked at Excellent. See, same thing. Same thing. Uh, is the door closed? <laughs> you turn around, the door is in fact closed. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, looks like we're not getting up. Um, I oh, vote easy oh. for the first thing. Yeah, I, I would rather not starve to death. Just uh, yeah, both Sophia and Sterling. I, I, I I'm indifferent. Some sort of difference. Uh, could be. You make the call, cool Laura. I have no but idea. But I like shiny. I also do like. Yes, shiny. we know, Sophia. Well, how about I roll this here D four and? Oh, my internet is not happy today. That's for sure. I'm going to roll out of character, obviously. I'm going to roll a d4. I'm going to ignore the 4. And then 1, 2, 3 is the difficulty that we're going to Don't go. ignore the 4. The 4. The four. Give, okay give the DM a choice at 4. Oh, okay. sure. All right. So 1, 2, 3, easy, medium, uh, hard. And then 4, you can do what you want to do. Everyone okay yep. with that? Yep. Okay. I'm going to yeah. quickly pause the recording and, and switch my internet back because it's bad again. Hold on. This is so, uh, the stream might be lagging a little bit today, but we'll I'll get the recording at least. So, right, Mister Mysterious Voice, are you ready for my roll? I am. All right. Combat the four. Give me a four. Oh. Medium. But with bardic inspiration, that's a nine. No, I'm kidding. Excellent. Now, will the contestants please step on the platform and prepare to emerge to the first floor? Come on, guys, this will be fun. And Sophia yeah, runs over it. to the platform. Fuck it. Does Sophia die off the platform? <laughs> yeah, does Sophia die? Oh, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> no, she doesn't die, no, no. Oh, in for a copper, in for a gold. Let's. And uh, are, you all, are you all stepping on it? I will. Yep. And As... uh, oh, go for it. I was just wondering. Obviously, Debbie's not here, but is we treating it as if Rail is inside with us? Or yes, she's she, she's on the platform with you. All right. Okay. She's in her her day state. Like you've seen her do it before. It's edgy road kings and doesn't want to talk to any of us. Yeah, dude. Whatever. <laughs> Chat. He's dead. Not like I care already. <laughs> Gee, bro, get off my back. Gee. <laughs> so, um, uh, are you okay with this? Uh, yes. I All right. guess. All right, let's go then. And the platform go creaks slowly into life and uh, goes into a jerky motion. You see, pulled up to the first floor. Good luck, contestants, and remember, don't die. Sound Try. of choice. You, we're not going to starve to death, right? Okay. Uh, I need. Who wants to roll a, a D two for me? Oh, See what challenge you take on. Uh, hey Max, as we're hey. in the um, oh, as we're in the oh, really you rolled in that one. As we <laughs> as we're in the elevator, can I commune with Loken? Oh, you certainly can. I, I literally have. A I need a. Uh, what would Loken? Loken will probably just do a religion check. Uh, sure. Probably not a great start for you, but. I mean, she's got to join Heist in the party for it. <laughs> 14. Actually, no, maybe I go. You, uh, what would you say to Loken? How, how, you, you close your eyes and uh, empty your mind to the darkness. Reach out. What, what do you say to Loken? Uh, I, I, I say, Loken, uh, I'm about to enter one of your favorite things to do in life a game. Please grant me some assistance. 
the game, you say. Ma, ma, ma. Do you love me a good game? I'll, I'll see if I can mark the cards your way. Ben luck a little bit to help you, the little one. Um, and remember, may the fates be with you always. Uh, at that moment, I pull out Loken's deck, hold it in front of me, and prepare to take a card. Oh, <laughs> damn it, I didn't have... The one time I didn't open the PDF. Uh, or, or it panics at the sight of the cards. <laughs> you, you mean to cover your head? Start filling my head against... Is it gone? The de- both the decks look exactly the same, right? So people exactly. don't know what, yeah. the, what <laughs> exactly. deck I'm pulling from, which is I, great. I, I think of the Harry... I'm way off to Koenig. <laughs> Definitely not Harry Potter. Sophia, I could set these on fire right now. Just, just, just give me the word. I'm just going to be there, like, whistling. The deck is in your hands. Awesome. Does Loken do anything to the deck before I pull? He doesn't. But you feel the uh, elevator jerk ever so slightly as if the game has been changed to a more favorable one. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Can I uh, can I take, pull a card, please? Are you are you taking it for yourself? Or are you dealing it? I'm to taking someone? it for myself. No, I'm taking it to myself. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm deal gonna it to all players. So, they, hold on, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Oh, that did not do it right. Hold on. Hold on. Let's Recall. Everyone's got, got a card now. Yeah. Deal to. Sorry, I haven't actually used this deck very often. <laughs> I've spent hours on it. Uh, where are you? Why can I not see you? Oh, there we go. Sophia. Uh, deal. Awesome. So I'm going to drag that on. Uh, so I drag that onto the screen. And then get a nice little rotato going. Rotato, the potato. Uh, I believe that says the chariot. It does indeed. So Oh, no, oh, did is you it, just is pull it, the void? Is the inverted chariot, by the way, it was upside down. Oh, right. Does that make actually yeah. actually make a difference? Actually, right, actually makes a difference. Yeah. Apologies. Yes, it was the inverted chariot. Oh, the chariot. Um, Joel, I have a question for yes. you. Yes. It cannot be Strahd. Who would you class as your um your nemesis, your ultimate rival? The one person you hate in life. Uh, um, oh no! <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what about that last who oh just tried God. to kill us? Joel, I'm meant to be your friend, okay? <laughs> I, I really, I, I really don't. I don't. <laughs> what was Stroud's wife's name? Uh, oh, she fucked us up for free. Yeah, yeah, she was. She it was, was tried, uh, she came Valenta to kill Popovsky. Valenta, Valenta Popovsky. But oh, I don't think she him. would be like a nemesis. And Loken was the one who put the curse on me? Uh, it was your parents that lost a, uh, a bet with Loken. Mm, wouldn't put Loken so on So you there. don't hear, hold Ill, any ill grudge towards no. Loken? It's more like you hate your parents, but they've already been dealt with. So Yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea. Ominous. Because it's like, <sighs> well, don't you don't have to think about it this very moment. I'll give you time to think about it. Okay. But I do have to tell you, the voice of Loken fills your head and says, "Hark, the rumble of the chariot. Watch your enemy be me? ran down." Oh God. Okay. Oh, oh I know, I know, I know the hags. Those oh, bitches. Okay. Know. Which one? Okay. Yeah, it has to be one. The one that <laughs> shot the fucking lightning at my face. <laughs> Can he not choose the coven? Oh, uh, no, I it has to be a singular. Assist. Singular enemy. That coven is singular. Coven doesn't have an S at the end. <laughs> yeah, that bitch who, who nearly killed that killed Yegov and, killed, and nearly killed me. Yeah, that bitch. There we go. It was going to be Sterling, but I, I, I felt, I felt, I feel a little bit bad. It wasn't Melantha, was it? Here we go. Okay. 
You draw the card, you feel a rush of wind around you, and then nothingness. Uh, Sophia, Sophia has like a, 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 a new sense of uh, excitement about playing this game. She feels like she is super ready to go. Ophelia, I guess the one that... Appreciate the time, guys. That's all right. I think people will enjoy <laughs> having the cards being evolved anyway. Well, kind of. We're going to go to the window with strange apprehension. Are we going to go to the window? There's going to be a chariot shaped hole in there and blood everywhere. <laughs> yep. So, Loken's influence, what game you did? Nathan's role gave you the hard and medium game, if anything. Nice. Okay, okay, right. Let me just find which is the name of it. It is uh, that one. Okay. Oh, I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, as you ascend to a room, it is lit by torchlight. And uh, your eyes take a second to adjust. Because uh, the downstairs are so dusty and um, very unwell kept. But this room seems immaculate as if it stood the test of time. Dozens of gems lie strewn upon the floor. Amid the treasure stands a marble statue with his hand clasped in front of it. A placard at the statue's base reads, Only one treasure may leave this room. Cross with another and find your tomb. And at the end of the room, you see a stairwell going up. So, can you do that one more time, please? Dozens of gems lie strewn upon the floor. Amid the treasure stands a marble statue with his hands clasped in front of it. A placard at the statue's base reads, Only one treasure may leave this room. Cross with another and find your tomb. Uh, so is the challenge not to take any of them? Okay. Um, I'm out of my depth. No idea what I'm doing. Wait, Max. Yep. There's a, there's a whole bunch of gems, you said. Uh, specifically, all though, are, are there uh, any that from at a glance look blue or sapphire in nature. You see sapphires. <laughs> can I head over to some of them? You can, yep. So, you know, getting them into a pile. <laughs> what you doing, Flynn? <laughs> Gathering the gems. Well, apparently we can only leave with one. Are you gathering the sapphires, are you? Yeah. Okay. You, you spend some time going around picking up each sapphire. Anyone want to do anything while he does this? What's your plan here, Flynn? Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot one special rule. Uh, in these game rooms, it must be in game, in game chatter. Oh. What's your plan here, Flynn? <laughs> <laughs> It I, just reminded me there. It's like, yeah, you can say, say, what's your plan, Flint? But yeah, for some of these rooms, it actually time. matters kind of thing. What's your plan, Flint? Is that what you mean by in-game chatter? It was more of a sudden realization going through my notes, and I forgot the oh. under, heavily underlined bit I noted earlier. Oh, usually, you know, everything. Oh, 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 sapphires are nice. Everything in this room, you know, gems and jewels normally count as like treasure. You can only take a one, as it says. Your friendship. Don't worry, it's not your friendship. That has no value here. <laughs> yeah, these sapphires. Um, uh, well, I want these sapphires. So, I think if we can, or if I can, put them inside the portable hole I have, and then take that across, that is the portable hole's the only treasure. Or whatnot. 
Should be fine. This seems like a pretty powerful magic place. I don't uh, think... I, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I find myself disagreeing, but I don't know enough to actually say otherwise. I would say people much smarter than me made this, and I don't think they'd fall for such loopholes. Take out my pipe. Thank you, Ben. Who's Ben? Uh, so I'm just I'm, I'm just appreciating that you said I'm um, you know giving it some you thought. Didn't make a puzzle. <laughs> can I do an investigation check, please? Like you certainly can. Flint, don't don't put those in that in the in the hole. Oh God. Okay. What exactly are you in, in uh, investigating? Are you picking up one of these gems to look, or are you just I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand to determine, other than just the color, if there are any differences between the gems. Okay, so with a seven, I will let you know what gemstones are that you can see here. Um, at sure. a glance, you uh, notice they are quartz, garnet, citrine, amber. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a chance to catch up. So quartz, garnet, citrine. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. I never knew how to say it. Um, Citrine is fine. Citrine, yep. Amber. Ruby. Mm -hmm. Sapphire. Fine. Emerald. Like, Emerald. Emerald. Amethyst. Uh. Onyx. And Jade. Sorry, I've just got this image, like there's a pile of stones. There's a girl in red with bunny ears holding on with a bow holding onto a freaking teddy. And just a Pokemon as well. <laughs> <laughs> um can Auric make his way over to the statue and see if the Magic Genshin Magic Genshin. <laughs> um out of my riddle. So that there's a statue with its hands clasped, right? Yes. Can I look under and see if there's anything in the hand? Uh, I'll get you a picture, actually. Um, oh. Let me find it. It'll be easy to explain how it looks. So, uh, hold on. I don't I actually find it. a list of the gems. I've got it on Oryx Observations. There's only one I care about. Flint, don't put those. That don't do it. I'll put them. I'll put them in one of the corners of the room for now instead of putting them in the hole. <laughs> if if you while well, I look at this, Flint, could you? Oh, I can't get a photo of it because um, uh, basically it's like a, a bluish hue statue of a man in a long cape, holding a sword in one hand and another one clenched into a fist in front of him. He seems like a fairly elderly, wise man. That's it, all in like a bluish hue. But it seems to be like coming from um, a base, like a, a like like a fog would come out. Like, think think we got like a, a genie coming out of a bottle kind of effect, but it's made of marble. It's quite a wonder how this was made, actually. Okay. Can so I get you to do a hand. religion check for me, please? Sure, I'm real good at those. Um, As you do, so there's literally much more. Well, I'm, I'm looking at sapphires. I'm focusing on them. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that right. twenty. Uh, you know this Let's statue represents. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's have a Oryx one. The only problem with Oryx one, it takes too long. <laughs> you know, you know, you can use someone else's. I don't mind. There we go. Cool. Um, you know, this is a a very common depiction of the uh, god of knowledge in uh, Forgotten Realms. Which, uh, for the life of me, don't know why, Bok I did not write down the name in the 5A. What was the God of Knowledge name? Uh, Ogma. No, he's the God of Magic. Ogma. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a particularly, like, you, you've seen statues in towns and cities and stuff to the, this God, but this is like, you've never seen anything of this, like, craftsmanship before. And one hand had a sword, the other hand had a what, sir? A uh, hand firmly clenched into a fist. Think of it like a, a like a like a baby win kind of meme. He's holding his fist like that. <laughs> okay. Um. I the statue represents uh the god of knowledge, Ogma. Uh, have a particular I don't know. association with a gem. 
Uh, would I know he, that? He does Max? not. No, no. With the twenty, you know, he uh, he usually is like a, a collection of scrolls and stuff like that. He's uh, nothing really to do with gems. So you would usually uh, you usually say like dwarven gods tend to be like revered with gems and the like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Well, it was. I remember this from passage from a book I read, and I haven't read many books. Uh, I don't know. Something about the statue sounding out to me. Anyone else have any ideas? Can I try and get an insight into the inscription of some sort using a relevant you could do choice? You could do an insight check to try and suss out the, the meaning of the puzzle, yeah. Oh. Luckily, I actually had a, a DC set for this as well. <laughs> um, 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 you can't quite ascertain what the purpose or meaning of this puzzle is. You just see it really... Yego's a little bit confused as to why would someone just dump like, a bunch of gems in a room like this. He was always a bit of a subpar in the riddles. <laughs> so I'm going to, like, stuff some, like, grass or whatever into the pipe light and say, point it at the inscription say, I'm sure that's relevant. On you go. Just do, do that thingy with a thingy. Yeah, that car thing. <laughs> that means something. Don't know what. Is it written in a different language? Oh, what's written? What? what? Is the inscription written in a different language? Oh, co common. Common. Oh, what? What does it? What does it say? Oh, the inscription. What on the the placard? Yeah. Yeah, it's the only one treasure may leave this room, cross with another, and find your tomb. It, it's, it's that riddle on it. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, is there a bookcase in here or any kind of... No, nope, it's just uh, just, pi just uh, small piles of gems around. And uh, there's a, like a stairway going up. Doesn't make really much sense with the... Spacing of the tower because you saw it being a very like uh, narrow tower going up, but it's not very big, so the space doesn't make sense in the context of it. So, if I move you over just so you can see the tower, so this is how the tower looks from the outside. Okay, right. now this is totally irrelevant. Is anyone else here on DD Beyond? Yeah, yes. Okay, so you see that hammer and anvil where it says go to builder on your character sheet? Oh, yeah. Trying. Move your cursor slightly up until oh. it's in line with the like drop down lists. Yeah. Oh! And it's dancing it's wizard. It's party isn't? time! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's party time. I'm confused. I'm it's right like a little hidden, there's a hidden button there. Oh, There's a hidden okay. button just above the hammer and anvil in line with the like menus. I'm gonna give this a go now, aren't I? Oh yeah. And it means if you hover over any of the um drop down lists, they flash colours too. Alright, back to the puzzle at hand. <laughs> <laughs> I've already lost Diego. <laughs> Actually you um, have because I'm gonna go grab some dinner. I'll be right back. Go for it. Is quartz similar or in any way related to marble? Uh, good question. I just, um, I don't know. Tell me myself, well, I don't know. Judge, it's like a, a crystal, crystally looking one. Yeah, it's like a crystally looking mineral. Guys, I suggest we do. Uh, we, we try and work out how these are related together. The, the gems? Well, remember what he said. Can we get a repeat of the uh, of the thing? Yes, I oh, think yep. it's only one treasure may leave this room. Leave with another. Dozens of gems lie strewn upon the floor. Amid the treasure stands a marble statue with a hand clasped in front of it. A placard at the statue's base reads: "Only one treasure may leave this room." 
cross with another and find your tomb. So, the basically, we need to put a single treasure in his hand from what that thinks. But it says cross with another to leave this room means that there's got to be two of us doing it at once. I don't cross, know. Cross with another to meet your leave, tomb. No, leave no, this tomb. We, Oh, no, no we tomb. need to take we need to take one. Uh, I I I don't think that's it. I think we need to take. Uh, I think we just need to take one of the gems out of the room. And if you go out with more than one, then you die. <laughs> I don't think you need. I don't Stella, think you need. You to, sound different. Uh, uh sorry. I'll, that's all right. We'll just say his yeah. modifier broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you see taking one gems and fun so so like, just, really just, just for the use for you, Sam, because we are doing everything in character for the, the game rooms. You don't have to do the voice on, just if it's easier for you. Uh I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to do it. I just heard heard Joel speaking in his normal voice and I forgot that's most pretty much Sophia's voice any anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, like uh, I thought Joel was speaking out of character as opposed to in, in character. So, uh, <laughs> no, so no, I was just noise. like Yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of half here, half in my own head because I have had a busy couple of days. So, um, <laughs> um, just, just but yes. Sure anyway, <laughs> sorry, my voice box broke. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna look down at the uh, the the writing, the inscription again, Max, and just just double check it because I think we've got this mixed up. Does it say only do, one do treasure? An, do an insight check to see. Do an insight check. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm just trying to read the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. God damn it. Oh, lucky. DC's 10. Yeah. So I'll read it out for you again. So only one treasure may leave this room. Cross with another and find your tomb. Also, with an insight of 10, you deduct the, um, the number of each gem is not arbitrary. The number of each gem is not arbitrary. Wait! Oh, right, I, so let's split the, gem, I, let's split the oh, gems up. Hold on one sec. I, I don't know. I, 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 I think I know something to something that's linked, but it's Sam. I, I, it's Sam. I don't know whether Sterling... Uh, it, these gem, these gems are uh, uh, birthstones. I don't know what they are. Flint's collecting the sapphires. Yeah, uh, uh, of course, uh, of course, Sterling would know it. Uh, 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 Jotman used to collect rocks. He, he's um, he, he's to totally <laughs> into that kind of hoodoo magic. Yeah, the wonder he's so bad at healing. Yes, <laughs> um, these stones are birthstones. Garnet is. January. I'm not quite sure what the rest of them are. I've got a feeling Sapphire might be August, August but I can't be sure. September. Um, uh, that's what. Uh, that's actually what I was thinking, but then it went out of my head. But yes. Um. But yes, these are birthstones. So now you say the order. Uh, the order doesn't. Wait, did you say that out loud? Yeah. Okay, now, uh, maybe it's something to do with that order, the order of the months. Max, how so we quick... can't take statue. Sorry, Max, how quickly can I can we gr gr gather up all the stones? All the oh, we'll done right. We'll take take a good ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes to get them all into separate piles. <clears throat> Guys, I think we should se separate these into separate piles. I think so. There might be one because I just had a quick look, and it looks like there's not. An even amount, so there isn't. No. We could do that if you want. Uh, maybe there's four from one half of the year and four from the other half of the year, and then there is one in the middle. Well, okay. let's find out. Start gathering. Which which stone are you gonna gather first? Oh, sapphires are done. I said, and I'm not helping with the rest. Of <laughs> Nathan's already been collecting all the sapphires. Nathan. You have 13 yeah. sapphires. Oh, nice. 13. Uh, can I start by gone. collecting all the ambers, please? <laughs> oh, it's going to go for uh, you. I did Damn realize, though, I, I thought there was just one. I thought there was just one oh, of no, each. Oh, no, several. One of each. No, my bad, my several, bad. Several okay, each, gotcha. yeah. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I heard Amber. Who's collecting Amber? Uh, Sophia. Uh, <laughs> nine, nine Ambers. Uh, uh, I will collect... Let's say someone writing this down. <laughs> I'm writing it down. <laughs> I, I will can collect Garnet and Ruby. Because they're okay. both kind of red. Garnet has... You find forward. five Garnets and twelve Rubies. I love how you guys are doing this out of order as well, so it's just making it harder to note date. It's fun, I've got this written down. Uh, <laughs> you got the Excel well, spreadsheet and everything. Ruby, 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 Ruby! Ah! I'll go for... Uh, oh, I'm DMCA'd, god damn it. That's me, yeah, I'll go for Jade and Citrine in that case. Jade, 18. Citrine, 8. Uh, yeah, Gov, could you get the quartz and the onyx, please? I'll oh, grab the amethysts as well if you want. Did I... Well, yep, you, I didn't. The miss most that. most Diego thing ever, Adam. You can collect the the quartz. Do you know why? There's Green, only uh, one. Uh, only one. <laughs> it's the minimum effort. Um, that, yeah, there we go. I've helped. Well, uh, you're really Diego. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I think really. that. <laughs> well, I think that that might be the one. It looks like one bizarre. treasure. Since you guys are going through all the lists, I'll, I'll read them out for you just to make sure they're correct. So you have nine Ambers, 14 yep. Amethyst, eight Ew, Citrine, nope. yeah. yep. five Garnet, yep. 18 Jade, yep. 16 Onyx, yep. one Quartz, yep. 12 Rubies, yep. 13 Sapphires. Yep. The group doesn't have those, I have those. <laughs> All right, so we did that pretty quickly. And how much amethyst was that? Uh, amethyst fourteen. So <laughs> look at me just well, waiting on the page. Quartz is the only one with one, and only one treasure may leave, which means I am going to take a educated guess that it is the quartz that must be taken out did any of the room. Two? Uh, none, 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 none with two. If you want to look at the amount, you can go to handouts and Oryx observations. Is that the oh, bottom? sweet! Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. You uh, have to scroll please. way down though. He has so much observations. <laughs> I do. That's fine. Where others may not take notes, I take many. many. Um. Well, hold on. The voice said that this was a medium challenge. Well, we chose yeah. medium, right? This seemed medium. Pretty... It seemed easy. Is, was this too easy? It is pretty easy. Yeah, as Flint's opening the portable hole. <laughs> Flint, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Close it. Well, uh, is Flint actually unraveling the hole? Yeah. You unravel it. You notice something odd is happening. It well, seems like you're just well, unraveling okay. a circular like mat. There's no depth to your hole. Uh, you put your hand ready to drop it. Just like, oh, oh, wait, that's a solid kind of thing. People are smarter than us, Flint. Can't be doing this shit. Fine, I'll fold the thing back up, but I'm still holding all the sapphire. Put the, put the sapphire down. No. Yeah, go, go. Oh. Intimidate him. <laughs> I'm turning away. Oh, boy. Ooh, Loki got a new release date. That's pretty cool. Sorry, sidetrack. It's Wednesdays. Wednesdays. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. It's all right. Hannah's subscribed to Disney Plus, so I'm like, yeah, boy. But yeah, tangents. Nice. Just, just distracting you from the puzzle, that's all. Flint, the sapphires you have won't matter if we can't pass because we'll be dead, assumedly. But, but I, I, I want them. I... Well, maybe there'll be a prize of sapphires. We can't take these if, it, if we're not meant to take these. Um, in that case, but, well, it's really not much point asking you for the most part, but if you're trying to talk Flint out of it, can I have a persuasion check? To... Sure. <laughs> uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure of yours, you can't fail at the... <laughs> like... Well, uh... Okay, so that's actually a 21. What, what, what are you rolling, sorry? Persuasion uh, for Flint, not yeah. do what he's doing. 
Yeah. Um, which 21 will definitely be enough. Um, <laughs> so we'll gradually put the stuff down. Uh, there better be more work. If not, I'll get you some. Let's go. Really? Come on. No, don't take this personally, Auric. But I don't want to go walking through this door with this chair if this is wrong. <laughs> well, then pass it to me. I'll fucking do it. No, I'll fuck you if you would like, I would do it. <laughs> I just had I'm... I've already died for you once. <laughs> died for me. Died for. Right. I will not talking about the lightning bolt. <laughs> I know what you're You walk to the doorway. Mm -hmm. Gem in hand. Mm -hmm. You notice it starts to glow. What gem were you holding? Was it the quartz? Yeah. You feel a, 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 like a rushing sensation come out of the gem as soon as you step foot on the doorway. And the spectral being flies out of the, um, the, the, the stone right through your torso. I would like you to roll two d6s for me, please. Watch me get max rolls there. Oh. Well, well yeah, so... Seven. You take seven points of necrotic damage, and you instinctively take a step back as the stone turns to dust. But you do hear a voice in your head. Mm -hmm. As you hear like a whisper of a name. <sighs> right. Wasn't that one? Uh, no. Not. Did we really see the spectral thing? Yeah, you, you saw like a think think of it like a Horcrux like shadow moving through him, but he just went all like white out of the skin after running through him. Jeez. Oh, right. Hmm. Anyone else? Anyone else hear that? Hear I mean, what? Whatever that was. The name. No. Name. Antonio? Do we know an Antonio? Banderas? Do you know him? Yeah, renegade guy, I used to know. Well, well. Max, do we notice if there are any um, quartz reappearing in the room? Nope, no. You rummage around the piles a little bit just to double check. No other quartz in the room. Uh, I tell people about the name. Antonio did pop in Doric. So, uh... Ah, well, um... Uh... Wait, Anyone else says... got a bright idea? Well, it says cross with another, so if we cross with more... What's that? Uh... Um... <laughs> Right. Oh, this might not go. Uh, I've from cast Mage Hand. Does that work? First of all, Mage Hand works. Yeah. Yep. It still looks like a skeleton for some reason. Which is weird. Um, but I will pick up one of the gems, not the sapphire though. Uh, pick up one of the rubies, my lad. And we'll carry it through the point that Auric walked to and then as soon as the gem like touches the uh way a door would be in the doorway you just feel like you strain your mage hand against it and push it's like um it's pressing against like a glass window no, nothing happens so you just push and nothing it's just stuck can i then try and use the mage hand to sort of like toss the gem through Boun the... bounces off the uh off this invisible glass window and just falls harmlessly to the floor. That's weird. Well, I, I, yeah, I tried. Did we do anything with the inscription? We read it. The inscription said, only one treasure may leave this room, cross yeah, with another, yeah. and find your tomb. I'm trying to know something more to that. 
I mean, I don't think we, we I think we have to be carrying it. And someone's going to try and have it at the point I will pick up a, the same ruby perhaps and actually throw it myself at where the thing was. You throw it, it bounces off the glass again. Oh, glass, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a force field kind of thing. You know how uh, films do it? It just bounces with a boom, like a pulsing really? noise when you hit it. I like it's stuck in a bubble. I think we have to actually be carrying something. Yeah, I is there I'm anywhere not... is there anywhere on the statue that a gem could fit? Um you can do an investigation check for me. Sure. Fourteen. Fourteen? You don't find any slots for a gem, no. Is there anything about the statue that seems odd with that investigation check? Like um, nothing of uh, note, really. It's just a really well-made statue. You, you do Does feel like there hints of it magic to it. Uh, Is there any? Not, not that you can see. No. How, like, how big is the fist? Like, is it? Could could there be a gem inside the fist? With a fourteen, maybe. That's what I looked for before. Awesome. Can I? Um... Can I walk up to the fist and attempt to sort of smash the hand with the fist? You can give it a whack if you want. Cool. With my stuff. There's a gem in there. I'm upset. Uh, what was your investigation roll for when you checked it earlier, Ben? I don't think you made me do one. Hmm. No, you did Seven. I didn't, I didn't do one. Oh, bonk. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm probably misheard it then. Uh, oh, that's fine. Bonk. No visible damage on the uh, on the statue. What are you doing? Selling, Sophia? selling. Destroy the destroy the fist. May I ask why? Just do it. I'm That's not an answer to why. May I ask why? I do not feel like randomly destroying I'm gonna the statue. Keep, I'm going to keep trying to hit the hit the stone uh, to okay. try and hit the fist. Just keep going. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to do it. I, I'm not going to do anything back. until I get some answers. You, you keep whacking it, and you notice a couple of dents in your quarter staff. Some splinters fly off, but you yeah, investigate the I, fist, like, and nothing, nothing, no marks or anything like that. Pull her back. And like, you use your to like tap her on the forehead. Use this part. Yeah. That's it's not. There is definitely something up, up with that statue. Yeah. Can you elaborate? I don't know. But it just it just for me it just feels weird. How oh, come you're bonking the hand? Uh, uh, there I might will be something in, in it. I will go inspect there it myself. Go. There might be something in the hand, so I'll have a look at the hand. Okay, I I will go inspect it. It's it's not detect magic, you should be alright. You've, you know what my you rules just, are like. You just, you're just uh, glancing over the, the statue just to see if you spot anything. Is that what's going on? Uh, or are you yeah, doing a very specific uh, kind of check? Uh, I will first look over the entire statue and then I will look specifically at the hand. Okay, do, do, do an investigation check. Okay. Uh, plus, what am I plus adding? <laughs> Is it like plus zero? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's uh, pretty good. It's a mighty fine statue. It's a mighty fine statue. Can I try speak to the statue? Um, Mr. Statue, uh, do you talk? No response. And I'm like, well, it was worth a try due to the really you, you guys weird... missed, missed an opportunity to fuck with Sterling there, doing minor illusions, make it pretend he was talking. <laughs> I would never do that. Once. You killed the child, Doric. Behave. You killed the child, I just helped. <laughs> <laughs> I had no intention.
Did the... Can I take a look at the hand? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm obsessing I'll say, over the well, hand right now. Well, it doesn't look like anything more than just a regular statue. I'll, I'll tell you now, even if you even if you take ten, you don't notice anything of note about the hand. It just isn't a clenched fist. Okay. Can I fist bump the the hand? You can. You're doing the Baymax. Ba la 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 la. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, you do that, but you get one temp hit points. You get one temporary hit point. Sure. <laughs> oh Why hell not? yeah! That'll probably save my life. Is <laughs> the sword removable? Thanks. Uh, no, it, it's incorporated. It's it's made of marble. It's all part of the statue. All right. Yeah, if we're not taking the sapphires, we can just walk out the room. Uh, is there anything else in this room other than these gems and the statue? Uh, other than Rayla sat in the corner quietly. Nope. Flynn is real or okay? She doesn't seem very here right now. Yes. Seems really absent. I'm not okay. If we're not taking she's been absent ever since she had that flashback. We should Uh, probably just go. Can I just try walk out the door? Yeah. Without anything. Yeah, what he's doing. If you Better hold no gem, you, as soon as you hit the doorway, you walk into what feels like you just walk into a glass door. Okay. That doesn't work. Um, I won't roll. Uh, you, you take one point of damage because you just tried to walk through it. Fair enough. Like a donk. Yeah, it's not going to be. You're not rushing it, like trying to charge it so slightly. <laughs> yeah. Not going to cause you well, uh, <laughs> That didn't work. You hear a bong, I see like the sterling just straight up upright, not even like uh, like very robotic movements, yeah. just straight up. Sterling, just you, you, I think you I just, just heard see... your god. <laughs> god, is that you? Are you Dong. here to lend assistance? You just immediately drop to your knees and start praying. <laughs> it's minor illusion. What minor illusion of calm. <laughs> Another gong goes off. Dong. I have an idea, but I need a minute. Can you give us some sort of sign? I, I two more gongs. <laughs> oh, Go. two more gongs go off. Uh, Gong is finally responding to you. <laughs> well, I feel honored. Um, hey guys, uh, there were two gongs from Gond, which means, which. Is there to mean something? He answered my prayers. To must One have something. Using the minor stunning, stunning. It was the minor illusion spell. <laughs> oh, uh. Does, oh. Even though he's a robot, you can see the visible disappointment in his brows as his eyes is low and droop. Auric, trying to be really smart, starts thinking for a minute. Pulls out his notepad and writes down a bunch of things for a minute. And taps his chin. Guys, I don't think it's this such is an it, I- but... It's such an interesting imagery when you're in that dapper red wig. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Swishes the hair out of his face real quick. <laughs> now, according, according to this, if I know the alphabet, and I think I do, using if I convert each one of the, the amount of gems to a letter, it turns into a halimunipapur. And I think that might be our answer. I mean, that... Ooh. Does that sound like an actual Although, word? Although... Hold on, what's... Uh, I, I, does the... I yeah, think do those letters... We're doing do, it. The, okay. do those letters rearranged make one of... No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't. I don't care if there's no what I'm doing. It's, it's like a countdown. <laughs> Sterling, <laughs> Sterling, make a religion check. Oh, don't tell me this actually is something. Uh, okay. Uh, Oryx looking really pleased with himself at his discovery of 20, 20 whatever this is. Zero, I believe. Oh, that's pretty good. 16. Wait. Uh, you hear a voice wait. echo in your mind. Yeah, religion is plus here. Gond may be here after all. There we go. 
Flint this buff. isn't funny. You better not be playing again, Flint. I would never. Gond, is that you? No response. Wait, what, what did I feel? What did I feel just before? Eye, Flint, you roll twenty, chap. I didn't say that. <laughs> I, I sent it to you. Roll twenty, chap. I whispered it to you. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Can I just do a quick perception scan around the room? Is there anything we've like that's in here that we're just not looking at? Yeah, you can do a perception check. Sure, I'm real. Oh, yeah, I am actually pretty good at those. Um, just kidding. Oh no! Oh, I, you nearly got me, dice. <laughs> I think that we might be getting close with what I said what about said the about? letters. Oh, actually. Yes. Or it looks down at his, his uh, notepad like, oh. <laughs> no, anything else in there? Okay. Hey, 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 GM. Can I pick yes. up a citrine, a ruby, two sapphires, and an onyx, please? Can I try to yeah, stop? You them? can. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking through with all of them. Is that what's going on? Well, my thought there is that spells cross. Okay. Uh, I'm like staring at Sophia as she takes a sapphire. <laughs> you okay, that fun? Uh, do I notice really Sophia sure walking I'll over with that many yeah. gems? Only I one hate. treasure may leave this room, cross with another, and find your tomb. Him and... no. I should have loaded my narrator voice for that bit. Um, <laughs> I yeah, can I just can I just lay the, out the citrine, then the uh, the ruby, and then the onyx, and then two sapphires just in front of the statue, and just like look there puzzled. You certainly can. Yeah, you don't get any reaction or anything by doing that either. I'm afraid. You. Wait. you guys are so close, so close. Oh yeah, did I? No. Did I? Is this something? No. You, you guys well, nearly you guys... touched it. Nearly touched it. What with my uh, Helen and Mimipur? I, I can't, I can't give you exact, but I, I can't, I can't I believe that. Heil Dunk it spells Heil Duncan <laughs> really weirdly. <laughs> Maybe this word does mean right? something. Hold on, let me. Get mine. In the room, we found quartz, Way. garnet, citrine, amber, ruby, sapphire, amethyst, onyx, and jade. Quartz anymore? No, yeah, no quartz anymore. Yeah. Wait, hold on one sec. Um. Um. Wait. I'm just rearranging the letters on the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys thought the door puzzle was a little bit too easy, so uh, I thought about outside the box a little bit. Uh, oh, help Marina. You can make no help response. Marina. Auric, Auric frantically. Go, look, I made it. Help Marina. <laughs> You're just yelling, help Marina. Help, no reaction help seems to happen. No, nothing. Nothing happens. Um, you know her name's Irina, right? Help, Marie! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> that would be fuck. truly meta way of me trying to get you guys to help Irina out, though. Fuck! <laughs> You're teasing me. <laughs> da -de -da -de, you teasing me. <laughs> fuck! I really thought I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell. Ah. <sighs> Help Aimner. Oh gosh, come on. Um I help Nama. <laughs> help help Nama. Please. Help us, please. God oh, I'm I'm really upset now. <laughs> someone kept calling him Marina or Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, This might be perfect. Debbie might be back in time for the second room. 
She might be back in time for the first room. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Sounds like fine. You guys are going to be so feeling so satisfied once you figure it out, though. I hope. Otherwise, I've not designed this puzzle very well, and I'm going to be very sad. Aha, minor alf. Gotcha. That's what it is. <laughs> no reaction. You sound a little bit less confident. I think though. you mean mine Ralph. Mine, mine Ralph, yes. <laughs> uh, don't don't you mean possible. min a Ralph? Oh, fuck's sake. Is it mineral? F- mineral f? Nope. F- for mineral? Wait, mineral pH, huh? (laughs) What is pH in it? Sapphire! It is sapphire! Flint, you're a genius! What? (laughs) Sorry, what? It's mineral. Mineral. Oreg, don't give him my taste, please. (laughs) It's clearly the sapphire. Oreg, Oreg looking a little bit like going crazy at this at this point. Delirium you know that meme setting. with the guy with like, yeah, you know the meme with the guy with the board with all the stuff connecting. <laughs> yeah, uh, Oreg, it has map, to be yeah, mineral. F- web. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one with pH. That's what I'm saying. Oh God. You can make mineral from it. <laughs> Man, lime. <laughs> oh, honestly, okay. you never know. Okay, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> Sterling. Uh, yes. Your your gong, gong, got. He said this was on the right path, right? Yes, he said, warm. 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 The, we could the set up room and fire. The... Uh, are you having flashbacks to that uh, puzzle game we were doing, Nathan, on VR chat? I, I, I'll see Max, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I really hope Max hasn't put anything to yeah, there. Frustration. <laughs> You're close. You're close. Realizing we've been in it the entire time in the arms. It's within. It's within arm's reach. Fucking. Oh. Does yeah, Sterling want to <laughs> try? Does anyone want to try and pray to the deity to see if there's any help? They can no, I want to punch you, the hand. Guys, Punch the hand. Okay, roll attack. Uh, what, unarmed? Unarmed strike that's... here, if you want. Oh, that's like zero damage, but sure. Uh, can I try call out to Gond again once Ben's done that? 19! You, you, you hit, but you deal one point of damage to yourself. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that's what... There goes a temporary hit point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I, I want to try um, reach out to Gond again. Can you give us any more clues? Religion check. Uh, oh, fuck, Sam. Why? Why do you make it so hard for me to help you? Because my dice rolling is shit. I know, I even set the DCs for hints as 10. <laughs> then in hammer. No response, I'm afraid. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. I should really, I should really a- a- ask all of my DMs if it, if like I can just invert it, like invert my dice. So and that one is the best thing I can do. <laughs> Be yeah. god rolling all the time if that was the case. Yeah. I just find it really funny that Sterling, whenever he tries to do any sort of religious thing, he's just awful at it. Everything else is not bad, but actual main thing he's supposed to be doing is just like, no, no, dice rolls, say otherwise. Take magic, identify. Take magic and identify. (laughs) Yeah. Fucking useless. Although, to be fair, if the quartz is now gone and the quartz would be A, would there even be an A in it? Nope. There would not. Nathan is God. Can we? Can we spell the name of one of these minerals from the letters we have here? That's that. 
That's what Gon uh, that's what I said before, and that's what Gon said warm to. No, oh, I said uh, warm in response to you saying these letters might mean something. You want uh, to rearrange okay. these, them. Can these spit out what are the name of the minerals? I don't know if A's in it then. I, if there's no quartz, there will be no A, probably. Right? Makes sense, sort of. Max! Yes? Is there a pearl in the room? There is no pearl, as far as you can see. Fuck. Wait a minute, hold on. Fuck! <laughs> There's no B, never mind, it's not marble. <laughs> Damn. So close, guys. That's right. Mm. Could you read the description of the statue once again for me? Uh, the inscription or the description of the statue? Yes. Yes, okay, I'll read it one more time. Dozens of gems lie strewn upon the floor. Amid the treasure stands a marble statue with his hand, hands clasped in front of it. A placard at the statue's base reads... Only one treasure may leave this room, cross with another, and find your tomb. And in the room you found amber, amethyst, citrine, garnet, jade, onyx, quartz, ruby, and sapphire. Um, does, this spell out, does this spell out a treasure, perhaps? <laughs> Sadly, no. Wait, could you... oh, no, 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 not it doesn't spell treasure, but it spells something that could be referred to as treasure. Um, could you read the reason why the... I said... in the same um... order you just read it out there, Max? Because it was different the first time you read it. Okay. Amber, yeah. amethyst, yeah. citrine, yeah. garnet, yeah. Uh... jade, onyx, quartz, ruby, <sighs> sapphire. He's just gone alphabetical, Ben. Mm -hmm. But it it wasn't like that last time. Gosh. Darn it. Fine. Hold Darn on. Darn it. I've got to re reorganize these letters now. One second. Helm of the peepers. Yes. <laughs> if we take a <laughs> it makes sense. Cause... So that's. Okay. That's... God, I think I really want to get this before Debbie comes back because I'm just scared Debbie's going to get back <laughs> and get it immediately. Or it have to look like it. <laughs> Look like this rolls in and doesn't really soul it. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so let's. Frantically scribbling away in your notebook there, are you, Auric? I am. Um, Auric leans up against the wall. Uh, and. I think Anne's trying to figure it out as well. So uh, there was nine amber. 14 amethyst, 8 citrine, 5 garnet, 18 jade, 16 onyx, there was 1 quartz, 12 ruby, and 13 sapphires. Pamper. <laughs> I'm just saying on Discord. <laughs> I'll, do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. No worries, no worries. Oh, you know what I could do? I can show it in the stream. Uh, Oryx observations. There we go. Done. Oh, Ant is like trying to figure this out as well. Like, he's invested as well to see, to see what the fuck the answer is. Yeah. You know, and I'm sorry, why I say Anne? Max? I yes. I, I was going to say, you know, if in the palm. Max! The hand opens. Oh, you fucking tower. <laughs> it's in the palm. Auric will hold up the notebook. As, as Auric says in her palm out loud, the statue's fist opens. And has his uh, hands spread. Inside, you find a glorious. You haven't quite seen anything of this magnitude before, but it looks like an immaculate, pristine diamond. Right. That's just. Right. So Sophia was right. 
Does it feel was right? <laughs> yes, I, we probably knew that they had something to do with that. We just couldn't meta it too much. <laughs> uh, so interestingly, you described the god of the statue as male before. It was the only way I could make the puzzle to work. I couldn't find his to work with a mineral. <laughs> It's just a very fat-chested woman who's, you know, the god of knowledge can be what he likes. If it's a brain system, the god of knowledge. Yeah, it's, a, it's an it. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a pronoun. Yeah. I sure take they... the gem, and I walk through the door. Honestly upset that, you know, there's an A in there, though. You, know. you step through, and nothing happens. No spooky ghosts, and you manage to walk through the doorway with no issue. In your hand, because Loken's uh, bent fate a little in your favor, uh, at a glance, you reckon this diamond is worth 5,000 gold pieces. 5,000? 5, 5,000. What the fuck? Can buy a set of plate for that diamond? <laughs> <laughs> I can buy armor. Oh, my God. All right. <clears throat> Someone hold this, it's probably worth a lot, and I'll chuck it back at them. No, Flint, you can't. I no, will. No, uh... yeah, you can't. Give it to the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling, hold this. <laughs> okay, what are they handing to me? Is that... 5,000 worth of diamond. <laughs> 5,000 GP gold pieces. Uh, okay. Can I try and throw one of the sapphires at the invisible wall? Don't uh, you fucking now. get a flip! <laughs> 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 Come now, Max, please. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the gem and it just bounces off the the, the glass force field. Or it turns around from the stairs and just glares at Flynn. You said you'd get me some. <laughs> I'm like a child. You, you could technically buy five thousand G- uh, GPs worth of uh, sapphire with that diamond. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> now that genius Oric, as he pats himself on the shoulder, like brushes his shoulder, has sold the case to the next one. You follow? I'm going. Oric, Oric's just standing on the stairwell. He's going to walk into the darkness above. I'll follow Oric. Oh, I'm not going. Uh, no, I please, follow. Please follow. Yeah, uh, I also follow. In fact, why don't, why don't you guys go ahead a little bit? Yeah. You know. Congratulations! <laughs> You have passed the the first floor of Exathander's Tower. How does it feel? Excellent. You have a choice, contestants. Would you like to proceed with easy, medium, or hard? Remember Uh, your decision. Hard. Oh. I have a D. Remember your decision. Will change the outcome of your prizes. If you were to yes. complete a hard puzzle right now, you could be in line for a jackpot. I want a jackpot. I kind of want a jackpot as well after that. I just really want it. So those sapphires are. It's. I don't know. I just. Don't we know. could probably get a lot of. Look, guys, do you want to do the hard challenge? I know. Sophia, Yegov, Stella. Hard challenge sounds good to me. That was easy. Wasn't the last one media. <laughs> Oryx eye twitches as he thinks back to the spectral thing going through his torso. Yeah. Wasn't the last one medium. We chose medium, yes. Do you think realistically? We got through. Combined intellects. I like Rayla didn't we even help. Hard. We've got genius. Yeah, Rayla's zoned out. Well, yeah, once she signs back in, we, the, we're we going to get through everything. It'll be fine. You're sure? No, because... let's do it. Yeah. I wish I shared your blind and mindless optimism. <laughs> I can roll a d4 if you want. What? What? The fuck's a d4? It's a dice. Do you not know what dice is? Remember, ga- ga- game, game zones. <laughs> It's the dice. Alright, holds up a dice. <laughs> you want to see the D4? <laughs> he has a bone dice, dice does he? <laughs> yeah, he's got charlatan's dice, even though he's not a charlatan. Somehow, because I picked up the background. Oh, sure. <clears throat> How would that uh, help us? Well, there's three difficulties, but the four could be even more fun. Fate will take the wheel. 
can ask Buster to choose for you. I'm personally fine with doing hard. But if people don't want to... Vote on it then. I don't care. This isn't particularly how I want to die, but... I am in different... Kill you guys, I already died to them, remember? I think we choose hard. So that's two, Flint? Yeah. Rayla, what yeah, about yes you? to oh. hard or yes to no? Yeah. <laughs> <Anything else? laughs> just, Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll turn to Rayla and say, oh, what about you, Rayla? And I'll minor illusion her saying hard. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, already. <laughs> if the Rayla wants to do hard, we should do hard. <laughs> Have you made your decisions, contestants? Everyone okay with that? Yeah, sure. Jackpot. Uh, hard. Please? You have selected hard. You may proceed through the stairwell into the darkness and emerge on the room of floor two. Pitchful darkness. <laughs> pitch, pitch darkness, yeah. Magical darkness as well. Dark. We go well on. Wait, that means even I can't see for other room. Yep. Of dark shy. Yeah. I don't I don't think. I can't no, I don't. <laughs> no, who has devil sight? D just think of a, like devil a, sight. A, I was gonna say devil sight would work through it, yeah. I recently found out about that. I, I can normally really? you know, see it mm -hmm. pretty well. I can't see through those. this. Is... I only well, recently found out how warlocks even work with spell slots, so <laughs> that's yeah, a little weird. Max, we are full indeed throttle weird. all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, right, one of you big fellas want to lead the way? I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, sure. I will lead the way. <laughs> okay, so you could push and walk through an open space. Oh, Rayla, hello. <laughs> Do, Rayla do in the house. Want... See, I told you Rayla was up for doing hard, right, Rayla? Do you guys want to explain huh? what's been happening so far? Get Debbie up to speed? That's fine. So basically, we'll be saying Rayla's, so. been... That's fine. Rayla's, been here, Rayla's been here the whole time. Like, yeah. Rayla should understand yeah. everything. She, 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 she's yeah, been, yeah. She's been in her own thoughts. Uh, where, if you remember the flashback, that's still been affecting her. So she's like just like snapped into reality as you were like. She might have tripped, back. tripped on a on a stair kind of thing to like, oh, oh god, where am I actually kind of thing. Oh, you're right, really. Yeah, stairs are dangerous. Huh? <laughs> you oh, <wonder? good> response. <laughs> oh, serious, serious Debbie moment Rayla's having. What, what you, you know, Rayla, we could really, our head this thing on. <laughs> could have really used your help back there. You just sat in the corner and didn't offer any help. Thanks a lot. I took a spirit through the chest for this. He did do that. Yeah. Better than a lightning bolt. What? He also punched what a statue. What kind of spirit? He punched <laughs> a statue. Uh, spectral? A woman made him punch oh. a statue. I, I don't anyway. like spirits. I'm going to go back to my corner. No, no, it's only me. <laughs> don't worry. They only, they only like They're attracted to orcs. So. Right. Are we still at this tower? <laughs> we're inside. How oh, much we're inside now. Right. Have you been Happy. paying while sat in the corner? I don't know. I, I started drinking from my wine skin and then That's before I knew it, the room was swirling and yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we are doing this weird, weird wizard's puzzles. Ah, uh, more one. puzzles. Yes. We did the first one. Mm -hmm. um, which With was, great difficulty. Which was medium difficulty. No. And now we're doing the second one, which is hard. And now that you're here, it's going to be easy. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Unless that puzzle uh, involves stabbing someone, I should probably go back to the corner. That'll <laughs> be fine. That's what I said. It's fine. We have a certified <laughs> genius here in our tap <laughs> I am pretty smart. Who is me? Fortality Rose Ridge Bear. <laughs> Sophia, get yeah, us so... through the door. Can't she just do it? <laughs> yeah, doors doors aren't a problem to me. Well, oh yeah, yeah. I forgot you have a, you have a knack for you know getting yeah, through doors. Yeah, yeah. Sterling opened the last door, but an Oric sort of got us through this one. And I'll get us through the next one. Let's go. Yeah. 
All right, right Coontassins, please step I'll into the darkness as we load level two. Come on, come on. Start pushing everyone forward a little bit. Let's Did go. that voice actually just happen? <laughs> yeah, you this time, you can't stop me. <laughs> and uh, as you step into the darkness and emerge outside, I need someone to roll me a two-sided die. I will. Me! Oh, never <laughs> mind. Sterling can. She's back and already is done. I have a pack on the floor. <laughs> oh, you had to roll it Oh, I bet I would have rolled it too. I think you should do a roll now, Debbie, just to see. I, I, roll I bet, you, I bet you I would have rolled it too. Should, should I? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, well, if you add us together, we've got a two, yeah, Debbie. Exactly. Teamwork. <laughs> That's how you roll a two. And I rolled one the first time I did. That's besides the point. You step into a dimly lit room. Uh, ahead of you, there's a door that appears to be locked with no handle. Instead, there is a slot in the door with an engraving above it that reads, Insert exact change here. Nearby, a wooden bowl of coins rest atop a wooden table. The tabletop is engraved with nine squares in a three by three grid. Nailed to the table's leg is a piece of parchment with the following instructions. 15 per column, 15 per row. Diagonally the same is so. A plea of warning to carefully count. No two places may hold the same amount. What coins in the center be fed through the door? Exact change for passage or trouble galore. Uh, can we get a... Uh... I did it. Transcription. Yeah. I did it. It's in ob I'll proof, observations. I'll, I'll proofread just to check. Uh, Alright, really to... is a smart cookie. So, so very smart. Smart for a cookie. I had to. There might be typos, but I uh, really uh, had to. Uh, watch yeah, that. Uh, people are already tweaking it. Don't worry. <laughs> Coins are said to be fed through the door. Exactly. Oh, that was that. Cool. cool. Yeah, you got it. Spawn. Cool. Hey. Oh, I thought you meant you'd already solved it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. The coins in the center are the ones that go in the door. Yep. And then fifteen are long, but not in the same one. All right. So it's groups of fifteen. I suppose. Yeah. Table. Table had coins on it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. F fucking hell. This is just Sudoku, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a logic no, puzzle, since it? you guys like them. Yeah. You got, I made you a makeshift grid if you want to work things up. Yeah, Rayla and so her the minus one on to intelligence. The bowl <laughs> on the table contains 45 gold coins. Oh, back to my notes. Gold coins. Gold coins, yeah. I really so, want to solve it, but I can't. No vintage or anything on them, they're just plain box standard gold coins. So 15 per column and 15 per row. Oh, I know I missed. Oh, no. Oh, wait, uh, is it like sense maths? maths. <laughs> like maths. Uh, I do. Um, I'm but Rayla really doesn't. So can I max? <laughs> With the coins. So the, rule is, um, the only thing they didn't explain, though, Debbie, is um, in the game rooms, you have to speak in character at all times. Uh, so anything you say, it, we would define it as if Rayla would be saying it, kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. Can I pick up okay. the coins and start to place them in on the grid? Yep. So you can stack them up. Yep. Um, uh, you, you, can, you can figure this out using your own logic as well. I made them okay. tricky enough to be interesting for you guys as well. So feel free to go for it. Because even the dumbest, dumbest the goblins sometimes have their day. Wait a minute. Okay. How many coins was it again? Forty-five gold coins. Forty-five. And no, none of them can be the same. 
It is similar to Sudoku then, isn't it? I've never played Sudoku. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Adam, the other one was uh, not a maths... Not a... Uh, well, math-ish. No, maths the other one wasn't maths. No, the other one wasn't maths. Well, I, made. Um, I made one that was maths, wait. one that was a logic puzzle. Uh, I just had a, I just had a thought. Dangerous. Oh wait, wait, hold on. The table's in in created with nine squares. Yep, I've drawn it on oh, the, the raw twenty, so you can use how, it. yeah three by three grid. If it's gotten, if it's pardon. Oh, it's a yeah, three by three. By three. three yeah, I was, about, yeah. I was about to say, if it's nine squares, how can that be a three by three grid? Oh, that um, was that's that, just how it was written out. Uh, uh, nine by nine. Yeah, okay. There we go. That yeah, makes a lot more grid. sense. Grid. I'm glad I caught that. We would have been here for fucking ever. Oh, yeah, I, you would have. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, why I, that's why I am my own. I even drew it for you guys. Did you? Yeah, it's on the roll 20. I've made oh, a little yes. grid for you can use. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. Trying to make sure everything's correct. That's right. Um, so good. So, in the center, and you get forty-five. Put some royalty-free thinking music on. Uh, oh, back at home, we had someone deal with the coins. This isn't really my area of expertise. I mean, I was more good at getting the coins rather than counting. Yeah, yeah, this is. <laughs> Um, it would be good at coins. Yegov? Yeah. Are you any good at coins? Not particularly. Um. But this isn't coin, per se. I, I think. I think one of my. Uh, in my other campaign, not too long ago, we did this exact same puzzle. Um. I vaguely remember, I remember how to get to the answer, so I won't help with this one because I kind of already know the answer. Okay. Great. Um, so we'll have to yeah. pull that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I just thought it would be, it wouldn't be fun what? if I just like gave you the answer. Sam. Thing, so. Sam. Yes. Have yourself an inspiration. No, don't give us the answer, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I do oh, have two. I, I have two opportunities to give you hints as well. But whoever asks for a hint has to do the check I tell them to. And if they fail, that hint is gone. Uh. Let's pull out my pipe again. <laughs> I know this is not exactly your forte area, uh, Adam, but don't worry. Hopefully, if the others figure out, it'll be worthwhile. I get a, can I get a hint, please? Hint? Okay, the first hint on my table is a investigation check, please. Sure. Bollocks. <laughs> Eleven. That's not bad. Inspiration. <laughs> Someone. Sophia uh, no. has seen these kind of riddles on her travel before. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't remember how to exactly solve it. But you remember there was a little trick to it that if uh, you, you realize that if the diagonal corners add up to 10, it makes filling out the grid usually easier. Diagonal. So six, four, and seven, and three. Yeah. <laughs> 50. So. Wait, if the if the diagonals, Jesus. did she say that out loud? Not yet, no. Okay, Back never mind. To 100 with you. W waiting, waiting for her to say something out loud. This <laughs> Joel, he might never say it. <laughs> oh, never mind. I really did. Uh, I really do like this puzzle, by the way. It's really good. Oh, that's great, Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight, two, four, and six. Yeah. Wait, I'm forgetting which. Diagonal. Why am I forgetting how diagonal works? I mean, I, I think I know it, but only based on that information, which I don't know, so... I'll shush. I forgot to two of you are tapping out. <laughs> no, well, it, just need, it just needs Sophia to let Sophia us share the information. It. Privy to information no one else in the group has at the moment. I'd like to move some coins, please. Oh, Sophia steps up to the table. 
You want to uh, clear like the grids for me? Uh, I, I, will, I will clear the grid for you. Son yep. of a bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to read. There's no point in me saying I'm going to do this and do this. this cause I just read you out a, a list of numbers from uh, top left to bottom right. Yep, go for it. Yeah, no, I think I've got it as well. Yeah. Four. Yep. Three. Yeah. Going across the top. Eight. Yep. Second row, nine. Yep. Five. Yep. One. Okay. Final row, two. Yep. Seven. Yep. Six. Okay, so your center number would be five. Correct. Isn't that the only thing we had to do, was put the center number in? Uh, hey, yeah. Yeah, it tends to cost us health, though. <laughs> If we uh, get it wrong. Yeah, but, but these coins you know, might start you know glowing, Rayla. Rayla, Rayla, the... Rayla, after the last oh, bloody uh, <laughs> after the last bloody room we were in, these coins might start glowing if we say a magic word. I forgot about that. I was too busy, you know, looking at the wall. Basically the same. Oh, you gotta go stick that change in the slot. Sophia? I I'm happy to do it or Someone else want to give give my my go a shot? Oh, I'll, I'll do it. The worst thing that happens is I die again. I just grab it and okay. trudge over. Yep. Insert the coins into the slot. One coin. Two coin. Three coin. Four. Sets it up. You pop the fifth in. Do you stop? Well, I already had five, so. The door clicks open. Oh, oh. Auric solved the case again. You're welcome, oh, guys. Said. So, good job, Sophia. What? Let's let's just say you guys got really lucky that Sophia wanted to roll for the hint because uh, yeah, you got lucky to get the, the good Max, hint rather than the, show rather you the bad one. Massive page of working out if you want, but that took me a while. <laughs> it's all good. That That's hint all did good. give it away very quickly. Yeah. But don't worry. Yeah, the, but, o the other uh, one does not give any hints whatsoever. So you're lucky. You got the 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 blind investigation check. Yeah, that was that's pretty crazy. Even oh. if I was playing a twenty intelligence character, Ben would not be able to help you guys here. Yep, exactly. I, I thought I would get a good that. spread of puzzles again, but <laughs> congratulations, you have cleared floor two. Please proceed to the third and final floor. Just... And select your difficulty. Is there nothing do we get no reward from this floor? Not for this no one, no. Reward from any of them. Oh, well, Let's just say I had sorry. bonus rooms with special treasure in it. Sorry, I'll just smugly turn to Yagov as I walk past the CC. Easy. Probably take a wallop in the back of the head. Uh, can we keep the rest of the coins? <laughs> uh, they, they they hold no value. They're just literally like painted uh, okay, gold fine, coins. Fine. Yeah. I'll <laughs> save me for being sneaky down this table. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'll pocket them if you want. You can just put like fake gold coins in the inventory if you want to take them with you. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Good what job. difficulty Sophia. would you like yes. to choose for four, three? You know, honestly, well, I feel like that last one hard. wasn't very hard. I'm down. Boys, for... Are we on track for the jackpot? You are correct. If you were to go for one more hard, you are in line for the jackpot. Right, I feel suffers, that so. we go for the jackpot, seeing as that last puzzle wasn't so hard. We got lucky, but yeah, sure, let's just do it. We've suffered it enough. Are you confirming and locking in your answer of hard as your yes, difficulty? Yep. yep. Yes, yes, indeed. Affirmative. Then proceed we. through the darkness to enter floor three. After you, Sophia, you got it right. Sophia would like to get her newly acquired loot out and start playing a song. Okay, okay. Performance check to see how good it is. Roll uh, 16. Roll. 
Oh. Yeah, it's a decent song. Catchy. And you march into the darkness. Does everyone else follow? It's, it, uh, it, yeah. it's, it's all about, the song is all about the number 15. <laughs> Go on, g- g- give us a verse. You're going to have to give me a bit of time to think of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd already be putting him on the spot for the nemesis thing. It would be, be hard to do the second thing. You didn't know, really? To be um, fair, the last time, the last time I, I had a musical instrument and played a song, uh, I came up with limericks during an entire session. Multiple yeah, I know you did. Yeah, Sorry. I remember you saying. Um, just, just in case you didn't know, Debbie, um, Sophia did draw a card from Loki's deck earlier in the session as well. Ooh. Was it Lagkin's deck or? Anyway, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Six alcoves line this hall, each one numbered from one to six. On the floor of each alcove, a lit candle gently flickers. From the hall's far end drifts a low moan. There, barely, I can't speak, barely visible, sobs the apparition of a small girl hovering over a discarded ragdoll. Names, names, she cries. I can remember them all, except the one I need. I'm Sterling. Right, okay. Um... All right, I'm going to be honest, I missed doing the first part of your thingy because I was on a different page. Six alcoves line this hall, each one numbered from one to six. On the floor of each alcove, a lit candle gently flickers. From the hall's far end drifts a low moan. There, barely visible, sobs the apparition of a girl hovering uh, over a discarded ragdoll. Names, names, she cries. I can remember them all, except the one I need. Six alcoves line the hall, numbered one to six. Something about candles flickering. Does does the girl happen to look like uh, one of the who are they called? Dust children. Uh no. One of those. We'll have a try. <laughs> you never. So just to make sure this is correct. Six alcoves line the hall, numbered one to six. Something about candles flickering, low moan at the end of the hall, apparition of a small girl hovering over discarded ragdoll. Names, names, I can remember them all except the one I need. What was the bit about candles flickering, sorry? I think in each uh, of the alcoves there was a each candle. Each alcove has a lit candle flickering, yep. Yeah. I'd can be surprised if it was a uh, unlit candle flickering. Ooh, that'll be Ooh, spooky. Too spooky for me. Okay. Can we see down the uh, alcoves at all? Or... Uh, you can. Are you, are you having a look into the alcove? I mean, whichever one's closer to me, I suppose. Closest? So that would be alcove one. Um, you don't see anything on note, but you do see something scratched on the wall in the back. Um, it, it seems to be a verse. The oh, verse on this wall. Hold on, hold on. Okay, ready. <laughs> says not his keeper nor he mine loved and hated at the same time is this updating in real time by the way My... a little bit oh yeah i can get rid of this puzzle there we go like it if is I write something before so yeah oh, it is okay because i'm right, so i'm that's... currently just watching as your words appear when you click Magic. enter. Magic notebook. Oryx are real skilled. <laughs> I think it's not until you click enter though. So uh, not, like, yeah, unless you're save not typing right now. All right, it's, yeah. it's really annoying. I've got to save the changes, which then takes me out of editing. So I have to go back to editing. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. so I can show you guys what it is. It's ugh, <laughs> so annoying. Uh, what do you have there, Flint? It says something on the wall. And I'll repeat what it says. Yep. I'll allow it this time, even though the game zone rules apply. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> My sincerest apologies, voice. Stop. Um, You're welcome. 
Yeah. <laughs> you again. Um. Oh, do, do you think they all have this? And I'll peer down alcove number three. Three. In mm. alcove three, you find a, a verse scratched into the wall. Her lives mm. she lost, or three by three. And through the dark, this hunter sees. So a, a life she lost, three by her, three. Her her lives she lost, or three by three, and through the dark this Cat. hunter sees. Yeah. So she lost nine lives. Through the dark this hunter sees. Yeah. So that she's a cat. Uh, cat girls are back. <laughs> oh, it is her. Is the uh, discarded What did that one say, ball. Auric? Uh, this one down here said. Uh, I was going to say, uh, Rayla's just uh, started uh, screaming down the t- corridor. Cat! Cat! <laughs> <laughs> uh, her lives I just she saw a lost cat. three by three, and through the dark, this hunter sees. And you think, it, how did you know it's a cat? You didn't. Did you look down here already? Yeah, I don't look like a cat. I, I saw a cat, That's I think. Cat? I don't know. I've had a lot of wine, and I've been staring at walls too long. An illusion of a cat up here in front of Rayla. <laughs> oh, there is the cat, yeah. Oh, fair enough. And so, Max, does the ragdoll look like a human doll, or is it a cat? Or... Uh, it looks like a very rudimentary ragdoll. Uh, with, uh, think uh, ragdoll puppy, except one eye is missing. It's like, it, it, you can tell it's been used throughout the years. It's very, a lot of use. So, we've got something. A I feel like the first one's a cat, too. <laughs> or he might not hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, can, can I look down the second alcove? Sterling, repeat That's... to me what you read in real time, please. Will do! Is there nothing down there? What, what, what alcove are you looking for? I'm just going through my notes. Two. Two. <laughs> my first vision. Her hazel eyes, my first sound, her lullabies. And uh, I will you know, speak it as uh, as uh, yeah, as Oryx um, interested. I want to look down alcove four. <laughs> lines in his face of life. Li- hold on, lines in his face of life lived long. Stories were his parent, uh, paternal song. Back in a sec. Uh, I repeat that to the group. Lives live L- long. Lines in his <laughs> face lives. of yeah. life lived long. Stories were his paternal song. Well, that's an interesting one. Would that be like the dad, do you think, really? Like an old man? <clears throat> But I've heard of these kind of riddles before. I bet it's some weird inanimate object that you don't expect. I mean, there's the doll ragdoll right in front of her, or beneath her. <laughs> uh, can I go inspect like the ragdoll? Like a storybook or something, I don't know. Probably not that. Sounds something weird. What you doing, Sterling? I would like to inspect the ragdoll. Okay. Um, like I said, it's fairly um, um, like well, well worn ragdoll. Uh, missing an eye. It, oh, the eye is made of a button, and it uh, hair is like ginger cotton kind of thing. Um, and you, you see, you, you're if you're checking out the eye, uh, not the eye, the, the checking out the um doll closely uh the ghost of the little girl is just hovering there just sobbing trying to physically pick it up but you, you can see her hands is just going through it yeah, mm-hmm. i don't know if you could touch um, it selling it be the last time you touched the doll yes i won't really touch it um can i look on the bottom of its feet <laughs> uh yeah you you see a name written there which is dolora Um, guys, I have a name here. 
Oh, what, what is it? Sterling? Pardon? Oh, um... What's the name? Delora! Delora. And the mention of a name, you, you hear her utter to herself. Names, names. The spelling, you must remember how to spell. Names, names. I'll spell it to her. D E L O R A, or however it's spelled. No response. How did you spell it? Oh, wait, no. It's yeah, in uh, Roll 20. That. Yeah, no, I was out of gaming to Sterling, which I retorted. No, that's. I'll look down number five, please. Mentor and guide the lessons learned. Knowledge message uh, measured my letters. Oh, I can't speak now. I'm getting oh, can mouth. you start that from the beginning, please? Yeah. Mentor and guide the lessons learned. Knowledge measured by letters I earned. Mentor and guide are lessons learned. Knowledge measured by letters I learned. Mentor and guide, her lessons learned, knowledge measured oh, by letters I earned. Gotcha. I repeat back to the group. Uh, can one of you check six? I'm still writing down this. Loved this, uh... to eat hay, just as her friends did. Lived in one room with a shoat and a kid. Go! With a what and a kid? I'll type it for you. Shout. What the fuck is a shout? What is a shout? <laughs> I have no idea what a shout is. It's a type a of pig. Kids a baby. A kids a baby goat. It's a type of what? It's a type of pig. Oh, it's a type. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I hope this is. <laughs> you know. I, I googled it. Oh, one of the pictures that came up. Oh no. <laughs> what is this Google you speak of, Flint? Oh. Is it some sorcery of yours? I've heard there are heresy! Bigger... Heresy, I tell you! Heresy! <laughs> one point oh, of I mental damage, sir. Like one Friendly. point of mental I damage. I've only heard of one type what of What have shirt. I missed? Oh, you got here. Look at my journal. This is all the cravings in the wall. Warwick's observations. Cravings? Carvings in the wall. So, it would seem we are looking at these verses and the ghost girl over there can't remember names or spellings. So I'm guessing that the verses are tied into the names and spellings. As you inspect to find alcove, the little girl uh, speak once more. Oh, shit. My doll okay. knows all six. Oh, my doll knows all six. The first for the first, the second for the, and for the second, and the third for the third, the fourth for the fourth. The fifth for the fifth, and the sixth for the sixth. Do you reckon that the first letters of each of the things the riddles are talking about spell out the name we need? And they're in the order that creepy little girl just said? Uh, I have no idea. Sure. Sorry, I was scribbling in my channel. What, what was that? So, that girl seemed to be telling us an order, and we need a name, it seems. So, maybe she's telling us the order that the riddles need to go in to spell out that name, and maybe it's the first letter of each of the things that the riddle means. 
That's too much thinking for my brain. Rilla takes a swig from her wineskin. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking at my note notes, my journal here, the first letters of the name, first letters of all these sentences, doesn't really spell any names. I think the answer is the first letter of each corresponding. Well, three. So the first yeah. one begins with a D. Second one, the O. Third L. Fourth O. Fifth um, R. Sixth A. The name of well, Laura. Well, the, the answer of Alcove Free is probably a cat or a dead cat, I suppose. Her lives she lost three by three. That's Hunter sees. Yeah. Did, actually have did, nine did lives, we... do you guys think? Probably not. In character. And out of character, I need to bear it back. What do we think the sec the sixth one is? Because Arik seems to have scribbled down pig. <laughs> I mean, a shout is a pig. From what I've seen of a picture a of a shout, it doesn't look like that. I have to eat hay as her friends did when wandering with a shoat. A kid, what a kid is a baby what goat. Do you f yeah, so what do you find in a barn that eats hay that might be there with horse. a pig and a goat? A horse. So that could be... Or a cow. So the last letter might be H. Could be a cow as well. Confused cow. A cow, yeah. I'm. Hmm. Apparently, the dog knows. Let's go with a horse for now. Number five could be a teacher. It does say, you know. What about the whole what she just said? My letters I earned or learned? Uh, lessons learned, knowledge measured by letters, by letters learned. learned. Okay. Yeah, teacher makes sense. Letters I earned, grades. Well, but it's, what does, you know, first for the first, second for the second, third for the third mean? Well, that's... That could be referring well, to the name I... on the feet, to each letter. I, I don't know. Wait, there's candles, what happens if we, you know... I have no idea, but I think if we get the letter right, a candle would go out. Right. Maybe, I don't know. Um, sorry, this is to the voice in the sky, if he's listening. Mm -hmm. Voice in the sky, can I give you just one of the letters to start? You can, if you want. How would I go about doing that, voice in the sky? <laughs> you just or say it out loud. Okay, oh, I if think... you want to send it to me direct, you can uh, whisper it to me. Okay. Slash W I'm gonna try space something. Gem. Guys, this might hurt me. You know, Rayla, this might work, but I think drinking so much isn't a good idea. Just want to see if we're on the right track. No response. But no pain either. No, no the pain. candles still flickering. They flicker <laughs> a little bit more, but nothing else. Nothing out of the ordinary. I it's don't me. think we figured this out quite yet. Let's <laughs> press well. Pressed many things. Is that possible to? Uh, Perfect. The little girl goes, my name, D, O, L, O, R, A, name, name, I can remember them all, except the one I 
need. Sophia has returned from her slumber. What has she missed? End of the world. Is there a way, old kind voice in the sky, you could repeat the name that the girl said? My name. D. O. L. O. R. A. Dolora. Names. Names. I can remember them all, except the one I need. What name do you need? She points at the doll. I name of the doll. What's the name oh, of the doll first? Know. Well, Dolora. Anyway, you can help us find the name of this doll. Um, make a charisma persuasion check for me, please. She nods and says, I know all the names. I mean, yeah, but we need the name of the doll. That's the one you don't know. Mm -hmm. We need to find it. Can you not remember any of the letters of the name? Don't get a response. Can I try speaking to the doll? No, uh, you can. Don't can I just more. prod it a little bit go, little doll, wake up. Oh, What's no. your name, doll? <laughs> because you're playing with the doll, the ghost says again, my doll knows all six. The first for the first, the second and for the second, the third for the third, the fourth for the fourth, the fifth for the fifth, and the sixth for the sixth. Well, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but Dolora also has six letters. Yeah, I thought it might be the first. Each letter corresponds to the beginning of the answer. I mean, all yeah, each of the documents. But then that means cat isn't going to be and one. It also means a teacher and horse are wrong. Yes. I mean, but then, how are we supposed uh, to figure out what one she well, needs? Uh, the horse could be, uh, horse could, uh, could maybe be, the answer to the one with horse could be donkey. Dep but that's uh, not but question that, one. Uh, I was about to say, but then Number that six, screws up. Could be one. Yeah. But then three might be some other form of cat, like a leopard. Seems unlikely. I mean, I think it's just cats. I mean, uh, I but I don't, it can't be cat. Well, I gave, I gave C as the third thing and nothing happened. Oh, maybe we need all of them. Oh. If we need, we need the whole name. We probably need to either say the name or spell it out. I mean, I think C is probably one of them. I don't know. Teacher. Makes sense, I suppose. A paternal song. That's four is probably father. Or grandfather, perhaps one of those two. But Kafir, Kafir, where do you see Kafir in the middle of someone's name? I don't like these riddles. Rayla's gonna take another swig of her wineskin. Has that not run out yet? Is there actually anything left in that wineskin, Rayla? There's only a little bit left in it. Rayla's like two, that. two chugs at most. Most. My wineskin. <laughs> it's gonna say it's fucking Jaeger's white skin, isn't it? Yeah, it's white skin. Probably. I'm Probably. I don't remember where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. Jaeger <laughs> remembers. Jaeger yeah, for Jaeger. Come on, buddy. Bless you. Who's that? Oh, my funny wizard. <laughs> Lines in his oh. face along. Oh. Eternal soul. 
Rip Raylor. Oh, whispering GM. Okay, well, my oh. first vision, her haze by my first sound, her lullaby. That's something her mother would do, I would imagine. Uh, Dolora. She turns to face you. Um, <laughs> what is your mother's name? Mother. What? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My mother's name is Delia. D E L I A. Uh, Delia. Clever Flint. Oh, so. Hey, Delora, what's your cat's name? My cat's name is Fifi. F I F I. Fifi. Uh, what about your dad's name? Hang on, oh, hang on, hang on. Wait, sh oh, hang on a sec. What was the cat's name? Fifi. Fifi. Hey, Alric, are you. Wait, 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 And I, I can't add. Well, oh, yeah, I don't think I spoke. Yeah, you got my hey, thing. Dolores, you got the same idea that I did. Did you have any farmyard animals? Like, did you have a horse or a cow? You don't Maybe get a response donkey? from her. Um, and I get everyone to do a investigation check for me after that question is asked. Everyone. Uh, yes. DC is eighteen. Oh, Sophia oh. nails yet another investigation check. I'll let everyone else roll just to uh, see what you mean. <laughs> so is it just Sophia? No one else? Yeah, it's just Sophia. Okay. Sophia, you realized, being the super smart lady that you are, that she appears to only be answering very specific and precise questions. She doesn't seem to be responding to vague questions. My next Guys, scene. she seems not. She seems to be answering only to specific questions and not to vague questions. Hey, Dolora, what's your horse's name? <laughs> My horse's name. Johanna. Oh, no, 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 yeah, Johanna. J. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Fuck. Oh well. That one you were gonna figure out anyway. It's Alexia. Hey, what's your teacher's name? <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's Johanna. <laughs> God damn it. The tightness is seeping into me as well. Uh, spelling like that. Uh, the horses. Spelling is that one. And is that is it Alexia the father's? Sorry, the teacher's name. Then uh, Alexia is the horse's name. Alex. Oh. Hey, what's your father's name? Oh dear. Sophia. Oh. Deck saving Who throw did? as the ghost charges towards you and screaming. So that's a touchy subject. Oh, she doesn't know that. What name. saving throw? <clears throat> Dex. uh, dexterity saving throw. So we have Delia, Fifi, Joanna, Alexia. 17. Oh, DC was 18, I'm afraid. I would like you to roll 2d10s for me, please. Ouch. Deep price. It's. Ah, oh, he rolled the one time he rolls low. He takes six points of necrotic damage as he swoops straight through you into the ward behind you guys and reappears settled, just drift, floating in front of the, the doll. I'm gonna whisper to everyone hey, I think she has daddy issues. Gamora, what is your grandfather's name? My grandfather's name Tobias T. O B I A S. And your teacher's name? Joanna. Joanna. My Joanna teacher's is. name? Joanna. J O H A N A. <laughs> hey, uh, Dolora, what's your, uh, brother's name? My brother's name is Sam. S A M. <laughs> Saying that in character. Rail is super happy she got something. So that's what? that's uh, number one Sam. Not his keeper, nor he mind love and hatred at the same time. Brothers in it. Oh, not that I would yeah. know because I'm an only child. Yes, I but I've heard. 
Sophia is starting to like smile and smirk, um, just watching everyone answer all the questions. <laughs> so now what? We've got these names. Is your father's so, name Safina? Uh... Is the doll's name Safina? Yes. If I so got that wrong. I, Sophie. Where'd you get Safina from? Was I not here for this? Possibly. Yeah. So the, I think the letters, first for first, second for second, respond to the letter yeah. in the answer of the question. Yes. So if you see my scribbled note in. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Sophie. Mm. Unless I've got it all wrong, her note goes fuck it at this point. Yeah, that no, that 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 seems about right. Is that the doll's name? Yeah, no. we're trying to figure out the doll's name. Is it's your Safina. doll's name Safina? No response. Where were you? Oh, bollocks to it. My doll knows. Her. Wait, is it Did the she... doll's name that we're trying to figure out? Oh, her name is Dolor. Dolores. Dolores. Wait, what's her name? Dolores. 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 Yeah. Is her your name, name Safina? No. Rayla, do a dexterity saving throw for me. DC 18. Oh. Her name's Dolores. <laughs> Disadvantage for being drunk. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, Not dex saving throw. Why did I just spell the name? Don't try and get me killed, honey. Why not? She f swoops towards you and you just duck out the way, just about. Okay, that's not your name! Alright, I get it! Do we have to put the letters anywhere? Uh... I mean, wh whose name are we trying to fit? The dog's name is the only name she doesn't know. Isn't that right, Dolora? She so nods. Is your doll's name Safina? There was no response last time. Oh yeah, there was no response. Do we have to put this somewhere? A oh, voice in the sky? We have six alcoves. <laughs> that has been a couple of clues of what the next step is. You just need to remember what, what's been What there. is in the alcoves apart from the writing at the back and the candle? Just candles and the scratching on the walls. Are all the candles lit? Yes. I don't think I was here to be too, so I just don't remember. Wait, she... Uh, Dolora. What do you need us to do again? Do you think we all have to pick up a candle and, like, say the letter or some weird ritualistic crap? Yeah. She asked us to say the name, or... S-E-F-I-N-A. The Can spelling, I... I must remember how to spell names and names. Can I walk up to Alcove 1? <gasps> oh, wait, hold on. Um, Dolora, is your doll's name Safina? Sterling, where have you uh, been? No, 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 wait, 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 uh, wait, hold on. Wait, where's the, spe where's the spelling? On? And then I will, get, like, I, I wouldn't pause. I'm just trying to, f um, and then I would spell it out. S, E, oh, F, yeah. I, N, A. Ah, clever. She picks up the doll, turns to face the wall, pushes a hidden button, and the door opens, revealing the last the staircase up. As she turns around, gives you a smile, she fades into nothingness. Doll in hand. Bye, Delora! Yeah. I can spell it out. Yes. The owl is just gonna shout S. <laughs> you guys are driving Anthony absolutely insane, by the way. He's been mass messaging me what the solution is for ages. He's like, ah. Yeah, no. I, I, re I realized that. Number one, when you when you asked if the doll's name was Safina, she didn't do anything. Like she did, yeah, like she didn't, she didn't like dart at someone, but she also didn't ex like accept the answer. And also, it says, 
Um, Sean Sisters. I, uh, names, names, the spelling I must remember how to spell, and that's also how oh, she yeah. was given. That was also how she was giving the answers. <laughs> I didn't read that part again for the spelling. I was just going to start shouting out the letters by all the candles. Throw candles at her. <laughs> trying to burn the door. Yeah, I, know. I know, I was going to like <laughs> shout the letters at each of the candles. I don't know why I thought I had to be in the alcoves. Two points <laughs> though. Why'd you wreck? I know obviously it's had any issues, but she really didn't like being by her doll's name. Well, one thing that's really bothering me is if this spirit was real, this wizard man thing, lady, has just been keeping a spirit here this whole time, unable to clutch what they want. I don't know. Or was it an apparition? I don't know. But the, I mean, it was real. literally described as an apparition, so I think. Yeah, but did. the DM isn't real in our world, Sterling. Uh, I can't know yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I think he's kind of messed up. <laughs> you guys anyway, step, well, start, are you guys step, starting to step up these stairs? Mm -hmm. Yep, Sterling, okay. you got it. Do you want to go first? You step um, on yes, the stairs and um, it goes to a, a corridor into another room uh, with uh, heavily lit torches. And you hear a familiar voice saying, Congratulations, you have won the jackpot. How does it feel? Pretty good. It feels good. Like I haven't drunk enough. I think you've drank drunk plenty, right? <laughs> Exothander believes much. all true intellect should be awarded, and you have proven proven yourselves to be true intellectuals. Behold, as your prizes emerge, you'll hear like a rumbling noise as several plinths raised from the ground, each with a black box. With a name labelled on it. Each of the box has each of your I'm gonna names go to the one say Ray and, and I was joking. And there's three boxes with no labels at all. This is the point where I'm going to enable the reward, which is called Swap the Box. Oh, is this like the, uh, that game on uh, 8 out of 10? Cast us countdown. Um, like deal uh, carrot in a box. I was thinking of deal than I do. <laughs> Swap. Inside double. is a suitable prize for each player. You may swap the box, or you can be part of the bonus round. The pantheon that has been watching you may choose whether you keep your box or swap your box. Wait, so there's a box that was made for us. Uh, did you say so, uh, a channel thingy had been activated? Because yep, uh, I can only st I can still only see f uh, oh, five thousand no, flash. It hasn't. Yeah. There you go. Hold on, I'm re I'm refreshing, seeing if that makes a difference. Let me yeah, have no, a look. I might. Oh, I know what. There we go. Oh, One I've more refresh. It. There we go, it should be there now. It's like uh, three tick boxes I need to do to actually turn it on. Yeah, it's there. So my... Basically, you each have a box. There is yes. three boxes that are bonuses that you can distribute amongst yourselves. You may swap your box, or you can use your channel points to forcibly swap a box with someone and they have no say otherwise. So currently we've got a choice to swap our box with a random thing. Yeah, but the other person has to agree. But if they say no, you can use channel points to force a swap. Oh yeah, but can I make myself swap if I wanted to? Or... You have to have someone to swap with. I thought there were three unmarked boxes. Yeah, three unmarked boxes are the group that's being, being distributed to each of you anyway for completing the hard mode. We each have oh, okay. a box labeled to yourselves. Oh, Those are the ones okay, you can swap. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know what's in the boxes, so what's the point of swapping them? I suppose. Are we allowed to look in the boxes first, Mr. Voice? No. I'm just going to take my box. I, mean, I don't know what other people's boxes are. No. I, I would... Uh, I mean, I want to see what's in the other boxes. Though. Me too. But I want to know what's in my box. 
Uh, you can o- you one. can open you can open the unmarked boxes now to see what's inside. Uh, but- yeah, should we do that as a group? Oh wait, can we do that without having to claim them? Yeah, you can open the bonus boxes first because you did complete heart mode. Oh yeah, like, yeah, sure. If there's no penalty to doing that, I would like to open one. I would like to. Open. Okay. I would like to open number three, please. <laughs> okay, we'll I'll do number like- one. So. When you open the box, there's a small parchment uh, of paper with f- really fine calligraphy labeling what the name of the item is. Box bonus number well, bonus box number one contains an item called Bracer of Flying Daggers. To have. Did, did someone say daggers? <laughs> what did you? Uh, uh, I missed half the description of the first one because. Bracer uh, of Flying Daggers. That's the name of the magical item, by the way. So you can search that up and see what the effects are, because the effects are written on the piece of parchment how to use it as well. Okay. Uh, can you just repeat what the parchment was? Uh, it's a Bracer of Flying Daggers. I'll get it all written down, Sam. Wait, daggers? I like daggers. Oh, wait, is that what the parchment says? I like okay. daggers, too. Yeah, like and the, the actual yeah, item... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste it so you can see. There we go. Unfortunately, it's from Waterdeep Dragon Heist, so no, I can't. <laughs> I'll, co- I'll copy past it, don't worry. Um, well, who's looking opening? At some... Anyone opening box number two? two? I am. I'm looking at you the are? strange thing. Okay, I'm really scared of giving you guys this item, but I did roll it, so. It's fine. I'm the one Loken, the Loken, Loken has spoken. I'm opening the box. It's fine. Inside, you find an, a small cube labeled this. Ruvex? I don't Aeon's know. Aeon's Instant Fortress. Oh, oh, oh right, I, you're writing it. Cool. I, what, what does it look like? It's just a cube, you said. It's a small cube, yeah. Is there any form of distinguishing features on the cube no it's metal cube it's like really dark like a an obsidian colored and it's like perfectly sharp edged like a it's like a perfect d6 cube basically with no no like marks or anything on it but the piece of parchment does explain the command work is presto <laughs> you can see why I'm scared of giving. Depending who has the but, item, it can be quite scary. But I mean, <laughs> does, does it describe it's a one, the piece of it's, a one in, one. it's a one inch metal cube. Okay, but on the parchment, it says the command word. Does it say what it does? Yes. Okay, then I won't do it. <laughs> Basically, I made it a little bit easier for Sam so he doesn't have to roll like 10 fucking identify spells. And I don't even know what it Sam's identify spells don't work. What are you talking uh, my, about? Exactly. What, what, mind you, that that instant fortress is a one-inch metal cube. You could technically make someone swallow it and yell "Presto." Oh god! Right. I've seen it be uh, done. Uh, I've seen people do some very ingenious things with it. So yeah. I, hard. I have just, you know, I don't actually know what it does. So I use the power of Google. And one of the things that comes up: Darren's intra- instant forces or how to break the game. In yeah. one <laughs> action, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, you, 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 be, be gentle with me for that one because I thought you said it's a fun item so we'll, we'll see how it goes you pop the uh, description in the, actually I can just look for it if you it's in the Roll20 compendium so I'll pop it there oh, okay. um, I, I'm going to be walking away from the box holding the cube and reading the parchment because I don't understand <laughs> just jaw just slowly dropping as you read more and more <laughs> who opened box 3? me Inside, you see um, the space seems bigger than what the box seems outside. Some dimension magic going on here again. Uh, inside, you f- see a mighty fine black longsword. Oh. Mechanically, okay. it is. Uh, black I need to remember how to sp- plus one. <laughs> no, it's an Archeon blade. So you're That's gonna have to one. search that one up because I think it's behind uh, Explorers of Wildermount. But I think. Oh. Oh wait. Uh, Akron? Oh. Yeah, that one. 
Acheron yeah, yeah. Blade. Acheron, there we go, that's it. There we go. I'll put a paste in roll 20 for you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Wait. Oh, you did do it. Yeah. Plus one sword with these bonus effects. Okay. Pretty cool. I'll be right back as people. Those are your three bonus boxes. And that one does require attunement, by the way. Uh, should I paste that or should I paste the text from? Oh, no, I'll just paste it in thingy now. Just if you got the DDBO version, yeah, do, do that. There we go. That's perfect. This is a 5e oh. tools one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I was on. Want. Yeah, that's okay. that's one I pasted. Right put that then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? I've got it. Uh, I, I, I put oh, down, you put I put down longsword, okay. yeah. Yeah, so blind it has a versatile blind. properties as well. Big, big blind. That one should be okay. a fun martial weapon for the people to fight over. Sadly, I couldn't. Uh, I didn't roll a great sword for you, Adam. That's the only thing. I'm back. Yeah, you, you just missed. Does it, have the, a cool, uh, does it have a cool American voice though? No. <laughs> You'd be glad to know none of the items you're getting today are cursed. But rah. Oh, sure. Sure. Bra. To be fair, I mean, you could, you could you could always reattune with Chad, and he'll come back. Guys, remember these are bonus boxes, so you can swap yours out for them. Can I look inside my box now, please, man? You, you, you all have to choose to keep first. If anyone wants to swap, then we need to have that discussion. Oh, I, don't, I, I can't use any of these. Yeah, I don't care about any of those. <laughs> no, the, these bonuses, uh, you guys else can choose amongst swap. yourself. Yeah, yeah, you guys can choose among yourself for that one. I, I would like just my normal But may, maybe if someone wants to have your thing after you open your, your box, you end up with might have some negative impacts for uh, doing a swap. So, just to, so we can't, I can't keep, say, the Instant Fortress and whatever's in my box. Well, so the Instant well, we Fortress, choose, you guys can swap, them, yeah, right? you can just beat the, these three to whoever you want. There's no drawbacks in these. read this now. Okay. Well, I'm still reading, I don't know. I mean, that's a really good item, but the Instant Fortress. I'm really... So it's really annoying you, you can just kill them with it? I mean, you could just just make a a, uh, a defensive place as well for when you want to sleep. Can you pack it back up? Yeah, it's got a bonus. The, the, the command word, you can also use to dismiss it. You know a lot about the this. Oh, you know a lot about this, Horik. Well, you see, I am a genius. He's had horror as stories as about it. Games. To be fair, you are a genius. I, is... like, I am very smart. Uh, mm. And not insecure about my 10 intelligence at all. Very smart. Don't listen to those sort of tests, you know, that say you've only got like 10 intelligence. Don't worry you about it. You know, I just, it feels like they're done by professionals. No, intelligence is subjective, Horik. You don't need to worry about it. No, that's wisdom. Well, no, it's it's wisdom I'm, I feel like I'm pretty wise. And so am I, but... You know, Around a 14 out of 20 kind of wise. I, I'm pretty wise as well. Maybe not that wise, but pretty wise. <laughs> what are you guys doing with your personal boxes? Anyone want to swap, or are they all sticking? What, what, what are you guys keeping. doing? I mean, they were personalized. Morning, ones. Debbie. I'm, I'm happy. I don't know. I feel mine. like being a bit of a wild card. <laughs> you got enough points to force a swap? Hmm? Have you got enough points to force a swap? Why? We, should, we don't need to swap any of them, really. We don't know what's in them. Can we swap after? We get out of the tower. I mean, catch you, I don't want this. I want that instead. We swap. There may or may be drawbacks from doing that. I mean, I don't know. There can't be any possible drawbacks. Oh, no, no. But Buster was there as part of the, the rules explanation. Never mind, there are some drawbacks of doing that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to put it in the chat because apparently that's the only way to get this done. <laughs> like some sort of ready check. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I think I'm going to keep. Are you keeping your box, Nathan, or are you keeping the fortress? Right. So just to clarify, I can only pick one at the moment. Right? No, still... you can pick both. No, just, the, so yeah. it, the the three we get the bonus three items. Okay, right. All right. I'm going to oh, keep. Yeah. My apologies. Yes. Gotcha. I will, for the time being, pocket the fortress without saying the command word. That's <laughs> I will. I keep my box. 
in you might want to let people what the note of the command word is though just in case uh oh everyone's keeping so someone's keeping so and all, the only way you can actually force a swap is to use channel points you watch the stream so you have enough Wait, I can force a swap with channel. Oh my god, I don't have enough. Oh, That's sad. Yeah, you've got to have eight thousand. I don't know whether to decide whether I'm keeping or not because they're personalized. But then there's a box of mystery. Maybe it's better, guys. I maybe, don't know. There, maybe Flint's box is better for you. You never know. We can make the box of mysteries. Wait. Oh wait, <laughs> do we box? wait? We can we can keep wait. I'm no. confused. So, so Rail a, a, a big dumb. Okay, yeah. everyone you has have an a box individual box. Game. Yeah. Yeah. I have randomly distributed that, magical items. Okay, Sam, wait, let me, let, me, let me listen to the voice in the sky, because I can't Hold hear on. both of you. Okay, so <laughs> e think about deal or no deal, okay? Each you have a box yeah. with a magical item inside. Yeah. Those magical items might be better for other people, might be better for yourself. And you have an option to stick or swap, but in order to swap, both of you have to agree. The only way you get around this is to incur the bonus round rules by using channel points to magically have Buster swap the box. Okay, well, I have to keep them because I don't have enough channel points. Unless well, anyone wants be... to swap with me. You can beg someone to use their channel points. I know a couple of people here definitely have enough. AKA <laughs> Anthony. Well, real quick. Oh. What's the downside of just keeping? Can't we just swap when we're outside the castle? Or there the is no, neg ne the there is a negative effect yeah. if oh, you do that. I gotcha. I mean, I can't really think of anyone's personalized box that would be better for me than my own personalized yeah, box. Yeah, that's because they're personalized and hear me yeah. out to each of us. True. That, this well, might... I bet you someone's going to have something I really want. This might reveal some like really weird stuff about it. Um... <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'll keep my box. Keep! I feel like we're really. Uh, I feel like Who Max wants to wanted. open their box first? I will. Oh, so Sorry, Joel, beat you to it. Yeah, no, did you yeah. type it first? <laughs> yeah, no, Joel, no, 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 You break the magical wax seal in it, and inside you see a staff with a little parchment it. taped to it. It is a spider staff. Spider staff. That's horrifying. Severe box. Is it like really good at swatting away. spiders? Uh, it has some the benefits. Of, spider crusher. It's actually called the Staff of Antony Removal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, as I said about this revealing uh, stuff about us. Um, <laughs> have, you got, have you got some stats for me or anything? I'm pasting them in now for you. Is this an actual thingy? Yep. I believe so. Oh, All geez. these are official We've items. Heard... Oh, God. Lost Minds of Alva. Oh, Christ. So... Right. Elmop. Oh! I played Lost Minds of Fandelva. Not that much. I know, I know that stuff. <laughs> you know, it's a player killer think... if, you, if you get hit by it. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Awesome. Who wants to open their box next? Sterling also. Yeah, I, I will. Okay. You can, inside, you can have of you, inside you see a small intricate ring with the head of a ram as its uh, emblem on it. We have a little parchment tied to it. It is Ring of the Ram. That was coffee, as was it? I don't know how to explain it better. Uh, it, the it, there you go. Is, <laughs> it, is there a description? Does it do anything or does it just look pretty? Oh, yeah, did you yeah. not copy and paste it right? Said that. Oh, yes, uh, oh, yeah. I really hope you don't make that like. Wait, uh. So, go, go for me requires attunement thing. Ignore the. This weapon can only be used. Go by requires attunement. This ring has three charges and it grants 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. While wearing the ring, you can use an action to expend one of its three charges to attack one creature you can see within 60 feet of you. The ring produces a spectral ram's head and makes an attack roll plus seven bonus. On a hit, for each charge you spend, the target takes 2d10 force damage and is pushed five feet away from you. Huh, nice. You can break things as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can break. What do you mean? I can break things. I read like, the next oh, bit. Oh, 
Read the next bit. Oh, uh, okay. G okay, fine. It's in two messages, that's why. Okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, no. gotcha. It was when he's not doing a very good job of copy pasta. Who wants to open next? <laughs> Did you say copy pasta? Yeah. Nice. Who wants to go next? Oh, it's so nerve wracking. I'm sure. I'll do it. Yeah. Flint. You lost. Yes. It because you kept the box. Unfortunately, you get the most boring magical item, in my opinion. However, it's still very good. Inside, you find a ring of protection. Hey! Love and affection. And through it. Ah. Uh, what, what's ring of prote protection do? You can literally Google it. Ring of protection 5e. It's an official item. Uh, you gain it's, it's a attunement item, plus one to AC and saving throw as well, wearing the ring. Pretty boring, nice. but very good item. I mean, and we have a cloak of protection. Yeah, Give. that's yeah. on me. <laughs> oh, if I... Uh, okay, just that, let me swap, start. Didn't swap, did you? But, uh, oh, no. Um, I mean, you've got enough AC. So I can... Okay, I'm not uh, attuned to it. It takes an hour to attune, right? Yeah. So I can't, I'm not attuned to it. Really, yet, I, I should hope. be getting a lot more AC. I'm always at the front pie. <laughs> <laughs> I was front I've, 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 I've currently got 20... I've got 22 AC. Maybe. Then use and it. Hear me out here, Auric. Maybe you just stand further back. Yeah, <gasps> I mean, to be this fair, true. the last time we went to the front, some vampires did nearly kill you. And we I made mean, they seem friends. on killing you. They really did, yeah, they didn't like me. I, I was right what next you were going to say, and we made friends. <laughs> and we made friends. They we died. friends in their court. Yeah. What was um, Sterling's item called? Uh, ring of uh, the ring Ram. of the ring of ram. I, I yeah, you can no. you can Google it. It's literally an official item. So if you need uh, the information, it's all there for you. <laughs> That's not what it's called, is it? Answer me. <laughs> I'm glad said? I went first. It mean, meant that I could buy on <laughs> on uh, on D &D yeah. Beyond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is literally all notes, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, well, I, I didn't see it. I rolled it. I looked into it. It's like, oh, right. yeah, this is kind of cool. Flint's is just a ring of protection. That Sorry, one. Yeah. That one I know. It's got, what well, I'm looking at, Ring of Protection is what I normally look like. It's got a nice little shield on it. With, if possible, very small looking blue gems. You can, you can have a, a small inset sapphire in it. Yeah, that's pretty much all. Yes, <laughs> a nice small list. Unfortunately, Knockup doesn't exist in D&D, so it has Knockback. But yeah, who wants to be next? We have Auric, Rayla, and Yegov left. I'm busy typing. Please, please do others right now. I swear, if Auric has something I want, I'm going to be mad. I'll open your box to find out. If I have something you want, I definitely don't want it because that's nothing to like. Your, your skill set is very different to mine. <laughs> okay, right. I'll open mine. Rayla, box. Okay. Inside, <laughs> you see in your box uh, a dagger of venom. Oh. Cool. I don't want yeah, that. I got a dagger. <laughs> I like daggers. Oh, wait, hold on. I've just remembered. Milovich is on the white daggers. Oh, oh god, I need to get that. Oh back. wow, that's got a lot more text than I thought it would have. <laughs> okay, yep. okay, take it back. Stab. Skip. Jeez, there's too much text on that. What the heck? Dagger of Venom. Yeah, there's yep. so much text. Like iconic, iconic dagger. Holy shit. Oh wait, it's only that much text because uh, yeah, because it's because the secondary effect. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In the final oh, two, two left. Shoot. Who, who's next? Uh, who is? Wait, who's left? Do you want to go next, uh, Adam? Sure. Let's keep Ben typing. <laughs> What's in yeah, the box? box. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> you see a very large opening. Uh. This oh. one is uh, you something know. you've seen in your dreams. You've dreamt of this day for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> the pony! Inside you see smouldering plate armour. Ah, oh, that's finally... <laughs> smouldering. That's, that's just, just plate armour armor that always has smoke coming out of it, right? Yeah, like and there'll far, be like green hue reasons. smoke coming out of it, yeah. Smouldering. Smouldering oh, armour. I think it doesn't have that much text, but... Uh, it's because of the properties. So, I obviously, was just copy and pasting. So, I don't do, 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 do you like writing, Ben? Oh boy, do I! Oh boy! 
<laughs> do, do you want to open your box and see what's inside? So just to confirm, this is regular plate with the smoky aura. Yes. Huzzah. Hey, it's plate. Box. Plate suit as expensive as rare magical items. I mean, it's like yeah, so wisps of harmless odor of the smoke rise from this arm while it's warm. Right, hit me. Right. I you punch. open up the box and inside you see a heavy cloth bag that seems to contain some bits in the side. Can you roll me 3d4s, please? It's just finished. Mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much it's a bag of rocks. Okay. Eight. Wrong you character. Have, you have eight shapes inside. And you turn around a piece of parchment that's tied to the cord that's keeping it close to the top. You have yourself a magical item called Bag of Beans. Bag of Beans? <laughs> yep. Bag, bag of, of beans, beans for Bean. Oh, it's a real thing. All right. Inside this heavy cloth bag are 3D4 dried beans. The bag weighs half a pound plus half, one quarter pound for each bean it contains. If you dump the bag's contents out on the ground, they explode in a 10 foot radius extending from the beans. These creature in the area, including you, must make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw, taking 5d4 fire damage on a save, or half as much damage on a successful one. Fire ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. If you remove a bean from the bag, plant it in the dirt or sand, and then water it. The bean produces an, uh, an effect one minute later from the ground where it is planted. The DM can choose the effect from the following. Holy shit! That's a lot of writing. Yep. Oh, it's a T100. Um, yeah. Why can't I name of the item this time? And by the way, Ben, just a heads up. If you roll 100, you can actually end the campaign. Oh, well, that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, what's an um, see. A giant bean sort of sprouts growing the height of his DM choice. The top leads where the DM chooses, such as a great view of cloud, giant cross, or a different plane of existence. But you get to choose, to be fair. Yep. Not I've that. already decided it'll be a different plane of existence, which means... Out of Barovia. Oh, right. <laughs> that makes no difference to me. Max. Oh. <laughs> What's up? Very important question. Um, we're not playing with capacity, are we? Or encumbrance? Bag of uh, we should be, I think. <laughs> Why are you struggling with... Uh, uh, you're carrying a lot of stuff I've at the got moment. I've two sets of heavy armor, uh, Max. Heck off. Do you need help carrying? <laughs> you've got people um, that can carry. I have an idea. Does the, if I try and open up the potable hole, Max, does it work? Uh, okay. not yet. No, you have to be oh, outside. Oh, so I'm over carrying capacity as well. I can't What's that, my yeah. carrying capacity? I mean, I can try and carry. Oh, I'm st- over by four pounds. <laughs> I'm over hey, by can t- someone 11. hold this crowbar for me? <laughs> well, it's five crowbar. pounds, and I really feel like it's weighing down, guys. What's my? Yeah, sure. I will take that crowbar for Thank you. Thank you. Here, ha- do I have two? There we go. No, I've got so one. What, it's what worth I'll two do. gold I'll, pieces. Cheers. I'll end the session there. But yeah, if you guys can sort out your encumbrance and all that stuff, so we have that in because obviously it hasn't really mattered up to this point because you guys haven't accumulated uh, X amount of stuff, basically. But yeah, uh, if you sort out encumbrance, if you're not sure how it works, DM me and I'll, I'll help you figure out what it is. Um, but yeah, and then I think we'll end it there before you go to the top four and meet whoever's at the to top of the town. Max? Thank you, Max. Um, you will need to attune with the items to get use of them if they require attunement. Oh, did he cut out for anyone else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, I, I lost some internet there. You guys can hear me again? Yeah. 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 You, you do need to attune to them still. You do not auto attune. You do need to spend an hour on it. Okay. Well, what about ones that don't need to need attune? Mind? If you don't, if you don't need a tumor, you can use it straight away. Oh, awesome! Well, I'm not going to do this, but I'm just curious. Ooh. What does that one do, Ben? That one, a nest of one d four plus three eggs springs up. Any creature that eats eggs must make a DC twenty Constitution saving throw. On a successful save, a creature permanently increases its lowest ability score by one. Randomly choosing Wait. among equally low scores, on a failed save, the creature takes twenty six force damage. From an internal magical explosion. <laughs> Holy shit. I, can, I, I love that. this I item. Do it. I can if do anyone that. touches my bag of beans, I will fucking also, ben, kill you. The more important one, obviously, is number, if you roll the one, some toadstool sprouts. <laughs> toadstools <laughs> are mushrooms. Oh, I can drink mushrooms! <laughs> toadstools are mushrooms. Yeah. 
this is the you can also position. spawn a, a, a geyser a spouts water beer berry juice tea vinegar wine oh. or oil depending on my yeah. choice so it'll be or, like a geyser of tea for one d12 rounds or we could go to the sarcophagus of the mummy lord <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. oh so, god, yeah. This is oh, just... On the grounds, because... This is fantastic. The command word you is pressed. You did a great job choosing these items, Max. Uh-oh, you did, did you say it out loud? <laughs> no, I'm asking you just to clarify that the command word is... Okay. Hopefully it's not something it that will come up in common... I, I kind uh, of wanted to set out something that would come up in common speech, but I think that would be too mean. Because it would be scary hey, for whoever was carrying it to me. <laughs> say Auric and the t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that? And, ah! and I've written the inverted chariot card down in my notes with the name Hag there. The name tag? I'll just put a hag down for now. It'll be fine. Name. Hey, Max. Yes. Quick question. Do I get beans back? Nope. <gasps> Dude, have you seen the crazy shit you can do? You can break my campaign. I'm not giving you extra beans. Oh. Also, well, I don't know if you know about the link affiliate. What's the name tag? Ophelia? So yeah, we, we can... Ophelia. We can that was that. and Bella with a two in the... Affiliate? Eight Ophelia and Bella with a two in the windmill. Ophelia is the one that killed Yegoff. I don't know what the one... It'll be Ophelia then. Yeah. I don't know yeah, what the uh, one... Yeah, because she shot the lightning bolt at Sophia too. Yeah, yeah. Also, real quick, does yep. each beam do 5d4? Uh, what are we talking about now? Bag of beans. By yeah, me. if you dump the beans con- bag's contents out on the ground, they explode in a 10-foot radius extending from the beans. Each creature in the area, including you, must make a DC-15 to the receiving throw, taking 5d4 damage on a failed save. Uh, it's like such a waste if it's... Yeah, it's more like if it gets knocked out of your hands or anything, but no, it, 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 it's 5d4 total. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah. it's not. It's not great. I know, but <laughs> technically, no, if you're in the last bean and you want a, a little grenade, you could do that. I suppose. Why would I do that when I could uh, each creature summon could one d you... six plus six shriekers? Yeah, Shriek. that, that's a bit of a poop thing. But yeah, I don't understand why they did that. That's a bit bad of them. I guess because the main idea of it is the D one hundred stuff. Oh boy, this is I got. Oh, uh, one last thing. I asked Yegor for one of my potions back that I gave him. Ah, yeah, so you can have that back. Thank you. I'm satisfied. Can I even carry chain? Oh, I can. <laughs> that was a super fun session, Max. That was great. Yeah, I know it was a little bit yeah, different. It was really good. Yeah, That's I know it was a little bit. That di- first but bloody uh, puzzle was tough, puzzle right? Was tough. Yeah, there's a reason yeah. I made Loki and force you to do it. That was a medium puzzle, by the way, and all those puzzles were only slightly variated from Tash's quarter of everything. Yeah. Nice. I will also be right back again. Yeah, yeah which I'm is why I, I had already moment. done that one. One, yeah, it's just unfortunate, yeah. that one. But, oh well, um, it, I'm going to sign off for that. Though. Yeah, it's pretty well, good. Thank um, you very much, Max. No, yes, thank yeah, you I thought I'd at least reward you with good magical items for making your heads hurt Appreciate a little it. bit. So, uh, yeah. n- not cursed. Yeah, go for not cursed. Woo! <laughs> Unless it is. Unless you swap outside the tower. Which I don't think he's ever going to do. It's his plate armor now, isn't it? No, if um, I can convince him to let me wear the plate armor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna sign off for that, guys. I'll, uh, I believe the plan is I'm going to put the recordings up. So we, the YouTube's actually caught up to date. I think the plan is Saturday or Sunday to do that, or late tonight, just get it rolling a little bit. But yeah, thank you guys for joining in. Hope you had fun, and we will do Stonking Thunder next week, but the week after. If you guys haven't heard the message, I will be away, so uh, be no curse of Strad. So it is a open position to. Sorry, uh, you, I, I do... you you cut out, Max. Sorry. Oh. There we go. Uh, hopefully, Ant doesn't decide to run Storm King's Thunder without me. So, uh, if that's the case, um, there's an open invitation for someone to run a one shot, I believe. If anyone wants to try their hand at DMing. So, we've got. So, sorry, sorry, you cut out the, the bit where you're saying. So, oh, next week is Storm know. King's Thunder, but the week after, you're not here, correct? Yes, correct. Yeah. All right.
Yeah. So that's an open invitation to anyone to uh, run a one shot. Oh, it's, it's still cutting me off. I don't know why. I can see it on Discord. Uh, um, you 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 coming across fine to me? Okay. Um. Basically, yeah. Hopefully, there's, obviously, Ant could run Stonking Thunder two weeks in a row. Uh, which, which would mean I would miss a session. So uh, I don't know if we want to do that or have um, a one-shot week or just take a break for the week kind of thing. Mm-hmm. We can figure that out. We've yeah, got we'll a week to decide, I would say. Yeah, exactly. So, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, I'll uh, sign off there. Catch you guys next time. Don't Thanks forget to guys. like, comment, Thanks, and Max. subscribe. Thanks, Max. And no worries, guys. Thank Bye. You. Bye, Max. Bye. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to sign off there. Thank you guys for joining in. Like I said, uh, we'll be back next uh, Monday's last Tuesday with more Icewind Dale and Stalking Thunder on Wednesday. Uh, like plans change. But yeah, I'm going to roll some ads and I'll catch you guys next time.